In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down, perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Burnley Street, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyles. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I'm about to abandon 10 celebrities. Yeah! on a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're living like pigs. And with a handful of basic tools. Oh, my God. This is Lord of the Flies. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. Don't stuff the camera in my face. They'll be left completely alone. What's up? <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God. Filming everything themselves. Look at that. Look at his ass. Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted. You know that is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Just Get in! Oh, Men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside. Ewan is acting like a psychopath. <laughs> Will they have the courage? It won't work. It won't work. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. Determination to survive. If you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. Ah! I'm beginning to freak out a bit. We're all going to die out here. I'm getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that actually him? Fucking hell, this is it. You feeling ready? Yeah. yeah. You mentally prepared for this? I think even from social media, the reaction people have, it's like, do you have a real job? You're just swanning around the world, doing photo shoots and events. I would like to prove people wrong. I am a lot more hardcore than people think. Okay, say goodbye to civilization, guys. Ten celebrities are about to begin the toughest four weeks of their lives. The island is definitely an opportunity to escape celebrity, mostly because then I won't have to do as much posting <laughs> on social media. Nervous? Yeah. 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 Nerves are good. Nerves are a reminder of what you're about to do. I think that going on the island would be, would be an experience nonetheless. And when you strip someone's phone away and you strip water away and, and a toilet and, and very little things, people, people kind of lose their shit. This ahead is your island. Do not underestimate this place. Time to switch on now. This is where we probably want to head for, this big beach. Keep observing everything, just in case. Yeah. Athletes are the most selfish people you'll ever meet because I'm on my own. If I win, I take all the credit. So this is an opportunity for me to actually be part of a team for once in my life. I've watched Tom Hanks cast away. I've always thought, could I do something like this? And here I am. With powerful riptides on the coast, I'm taking the celebs as far into the island as possible. You can see a lot of this. It's swamp and mangrove. You've got crocs, you've got sharks, you've got snakes, you've got stingrays, you've got stonefish, they'll kill you. Okay, somebody who's give us a push round so the nose is pointing up there. Push it this way. You guys be careful. Okay, so final words just before we go. This island will take you to your edge. But it's all about how you then react. But remember courage and kindness. This is a great place to show what you're really made of. All right, just never give up. Come on, team. Let's go, let's get all this kit off then. I've given the celebs just three jerry cans of water. Leave nothing behind. Some basic tools, fishing equipment, and medical supplies. Don't forget the water. Whatever you do, we need three jerry cans. We're not going to forget. Well, she's just dropped it. It's gone. I've got it. For the next month, this group will depend on each other for their lives. Ewan, don't 
don't want to go in the mangrove. We're going this way. Ewan. We're going this way. Straight this way, not that way. Why would we not just go up there and walk? It maybe it's deep in there or something, I don't know. It's not deep, it's going up. I don't know. Everyone always starts with the best intentions. One minute in, all arguing. Just go up and along, not carrying this shit through this. OK, let's not argue. Come on, we'll just... But they'll learn. They'll have to learn fast out here. Woo! What are we doing? Let's do this, guys! Mom! The magic of the island is that it doesn't care who you are. It just strips you bare and then beats the shit out of you. And this is going to be very revealing. Bye, Bear! Bye, Teddy Bear! Thank you, Bear! It's time for me and the crew to leave. From now on, the celebs are on their own. All right, guys, what you're at, and then? The tide's coming in. We need to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's already a bit of a path cleared. Yeah, but going through the middle of this jungle, it looks like it's going to be too hard getting up. We do have two hours before the water's here. Yeah, but we've got to have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the local restaurant's like. <laughs> OK, let's go. People make sure they're carrying something, if that's all right. Can somebody help me with yes. this? Yes. I can take a handle if you want. The celebs plan to find the beach Ewan spotted from the boat, or else they'll have to spend a night in the jungle. Just choose the easiest path and we'll follow it. Okay. Mosquitoes! Lots of them! The group's home for the next 28 days is this uninhabited Pacific island. Treacherous tides and currents surround the coast, while three square kilometres of dense jungle dominate the interior. Give me the machete. Yeah. Machete, give me the machete. See how fast it moved. I've ensured the island has enough water, vegetation and indigenous animals throughout to keep them alive. But only if they have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. This way or this way? Let's go that way. Let's go there. We're going the right way. I promise yeah. you, this oh. way is the best way. Yeah, let's go up, let's go up. Listen, why are we going up? Why are we not going through where the green is? We're going the wrong way. Two hours into their trek... Yay! <laughs> ..the celebs are lost. There's too many people telling everybody else what to do. Yep. So there was two over there, two over there. We need to just... We need to get everyone together and person. say, this one person today, no matter what they think and if we disagree, we just You have to, have to put the trust in someone because and just go with it. it's going to be like yeah. this all day otherwise. But calm down. Yeah, we're all calm. We're all calm. We just... Yeah, yeah. We need, we need someone to take control and yeah, believe in them. Convinced he can find his way to the beach, Olympic sprinter Ewan takes control. Guys, you've got to trust me on this. Let's go. I'm doing the island because I used to love being out of my comfort zone. I'm proudly still the British record holder for the 400 metres. I miss that buzz, I miss that element of having to push myself. I see myself as a man's man. Without sounding like an idiot, I, I will want to lead. I'm an alpha male, I think I am the person who I hope will help bring the team together. Modern day Rambo, love it. You in store, Alpha? Can't fuck with you in. Guys, keep going as straight as much as we can. Just choose the easiest path. Ewan is attempting to lead the group through the heart of the island, its most difficult terrain, to a beach he saw from the boat. Sometimes you just got to follow instinct. Something's telling me this is it. This is the right way. The responsibility though, because if I mess it up. Everyone's following, aren't they? Guys, you're going the wrong way. We're not, Ryan. I swear to you now, I heard the ocean over this side. The left on the, I heard it over here, this way. That's not a beach, that's a peninsula. That's where we came from. Less than an hour after taking the reins... Ryan, I've been up that way. Ewan's leadership is under attack from ex Cory star Ryan. I'm not even turning back, it's that good. I think we've got to accept that a couple of people will just go off on tangents sometimes. No, but they and can't. We can't accept that. Well, it doesn't work yeah, like that. We're yeah. a team. Rather than reason with them, we've just got to manage them. Because they're boys. <laughs> Ryan looks like a uh, sort of a terrorist. That's a side issue. This is, like, quite deep. Jungle. Yeah. Come back to us! That's us told. 
The sea is this way, darling. Oh, thank you. What a gentleman. Just here, he has some afternoon tea. What a gentleman. I would slap you off some machete, but it's actually against health and safety here. Beautiful. There are three alphas. Ewan, Ryan, and Jordan. OK, come on. He's very opinionated. And why is there no women alphas? Because it will take time for the group to recognise the importance of women. That's how societies work. But sometimes it takes thousands of years, unfortunately. If I'm honest, I don't know exactly where I'm going. We actually could be walking aimlessly. We've got so much hours. trust on the people in front. I need some water, guys. Four hours after they set out. Oh, I need that so bad, you know. Fucking hell. There's still no sign of a beach. This is ridiculous. We're going to end up sleeping on this tonight if we're not careful. I, I, can't, I can't slow down. I'm too psyched up. Having promised to lead the group to the beach, Ewan pushes on ahead. It's getting very dense. It's getting horrible here now. Fuck! It's hard to know what we're doing at this point. Our main problem is we're lost in a jungle. And now that we don't have a fucking clue what to do. Please don't be a cliff top. Fucking please don't be. It is, is it? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What? Fuck! Yes! It's the one! Yes! Oh my yes! god! It's the yes! sea! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh we fucking did it! Look at it, mate! Oh, I feel how. Christopher Columbus felt when he discovered America. Hello, ocean! We've done it. we found home. Let me enjoy the view, Luke. Why are you spoiling it for me? <laughs> Ryan, keeping me waiting, brother. <laughs> you is a leader. And he's born to be a leader. I mean, he's an Olympian. He's a winner. He's, he doesn't fail. He goes. He doesn't stop. Well done, Ewan. <laughs> the celeb celebrations are short-lived. Ah! <laughs> After the gruelling jungle trek, Ryan is stricken with cramp. That cramping would have been because of the dehydration. We have nearly finished all the jerry cans. How are you going to drown? Well, if they weren't there, it would have been hard to, to swim. We have to get water. Oh. People die with dehydration and die quickly. Everybody, before you put any different clothes on, do shake them out, OK, for scorpions and stuff, and check your boots. 12 hours ago, I dropped 10 celebrities on a remote Pacific island. I think I'll get more sleep when I have a newborn baby. I'll put the kettle on. Who wants coffee or tea? All right, mate. Beans on toast this morning or just Marmite? Oh my God, it's part of a fridge. We're the local looky looky men. We'll accept a coconut in return for a pair of flip flops. Have you got a size 11, please? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> See you guys! See you! We need to try and think about where we're going to live. Yesterday, Ewan led the group successfully to a beach. I reckon, Mark, we're either heading for. Yep. The coconut trees there, yep. or around the cove there. Today, Ewan wants to prioritise building a shelter. Do you know what? It's got a nice breeze and it's shaded. We're not sleeping here because there's coconuts everywhere. No, we are. There's no coconuts yeah, here. I'm just saying that, like, if there's a breeze, bro, and one of these coconuts drops, you'll die. Say it straight up. Do you know what? Amazing beach, and I don't think I'm putting a down on it, but I'm just... Now that Jordan said that... What, the coconut is over there? So it might breeze. kill us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not going to fall from there and land over here. I think this is home. Yeah, we can build a lovely den here. Well, well, can someone keep it on that end, please? It's going to fall off. I really pray and I hope people in this group look to me for strength. And that's what I think I need to do. 
Lead by example. That's it, that's it, that's it. Wait, what about our priorities of water and fire? The priority right now is to start making this a shelter. I think we need to prioritise water, um, so I think we need to abandon ship on, on shelter making. Can we have a meeting in camp in five minutes, please? Ewan, he's such an alpha male, he's like this Rambo of the group. He wants to, like, build, chop, kill everything. He wants to do everything. I was like, guys, I think I'm going to build a shelter. Really, our primary concern is water. Today, guys, let's get a shelter up. We've got protection from the elements. You won't know how much morale that will give us. That's not the best thing for the group at this time. We've got to think about what we need now. We need water and we need fire. From a medical point of view, we've got one jerry can of water. Unless we get enough water, I know that actually our kidneys could pack in. OK, fair enough. So we find water today as our main priority. The doctor said that, Sarah said, and we, we can't go on without water. Let's just keep the spirits high. I think everyone is doing so, so well. I'm so, I'll use Lucy as an example, right? Honestly, before we came here, I thought, ah, uh, yes. you know, pretty young, ditzy girl, she's going to struggle. She <laughs> is hard. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm, 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 compliment, I'm complimenting you. Yeah. Hardcore yesterday, so and we are going to yeah. thorish on this island. <laughs> Having been convinced by the women to put the shelter build on hold... Let's go. ..you and volunteers to lead the search for water. Everyone has got to calm and breathe before they do things. Not jump up and act at 100 miles an hour. You've got to calm down, you and because otherwise well, you will be no use to us in a week's time. We'll be exhausted. We need to do water, right? And we had to do this, yes, I agree. Yes, I know, but... Well, right. it's a team. It's a team, Ewan. It's a team. Just it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, mate. <laughs> Ewan's a 400-metre racer. His race takes him 44 seconds long to do, you know? So everything he does is done at 100 miles an hour with 100% effort. And so reining him in has been quite a difficult job. Conserve energy, mm -hmm. all right? We're going to walk really fucking slowly. I'm being serious. Don't let me get too far ahead like yeah. a naughty child. On, Rein me in. I'm keeping on a tempo metre, you fuck face. Come, let's Good go. Good come. Love you all very much. Yeah. Yep, yep. Ewan recruits actor Ryan. Dedication and determination. Let's do this. And musician Jordan for the expedition. I just think that those trees, those big green trees, are where the water is. My navigational sense is, is real good and it's 100% there. Big green tree it is. Let's go here. This is the shit. This is the right way. Oh, this book is my notebook. Um, it says, hi, this is my notebook. <laughs> I am one half of Rizzle Kicks. Quite a performer, a bit of a mess, a bit of a joker. <laughs> I think a lot of people think I'm quite stupid by their standards. I hope that the best quality I bring to the island is just like lateral thinking. Oh! Let's go. All right, bros, this is feeling good. Big time, big time. I think we should have brought more water for four big blokes. How much water do we bring? About that much water in a little, little bottle. Imagine there's a lovely little sign saying, water this way. My life's gone wrong somewhere, hasn't it? Why? I'm the best company ever. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> My teeth feel awful. Oh, I know. Just make sure you don't kiss anyone. <laughs> Back at camp, the rest of the group are attempting to make fire so they can purify water when they find it. I have a pair of glasses and uh, I've set them up aiming at some wood, some kindling. So you're just kind of hoping those will light. I'm not giving up today. I really hope my persistence pays off. Is that the dude from Breaking Bad? Like, what is going on? I'm going to the island because I want a scenery change. For me, this is 100% about escape. RJ! What you see in our industry doesn't exist. It's not real. Fame to me is fickle. It has very little value in my life. This island exists and it's real and it's hard. I feel like it's going to break a few people, actually. It might, it might even break me. Oh, man. I've done some hard shit in my life, but this is definitely some of the hardest shit I've done. 
by the green trees just there. Mate, smell-wise, it smells moist, isn't it? On their search for water, Ewan, Ryan and Jordan have been trekking through the jungle for more than three hours. We've come from that way. We haven't, we just came from there. Guys, let's have a little chat. I think we're going the wrong way. Ah! What are you talking about? Green tree's there. Yeah. RC is that direction, the green tree is this direction. What? Uh, well, you've got to be fucking on it, man. Let's do it. I think green tree's that way. Sure of it. You're hearing the wind through the fucking leaves, bro. No, my opinion. The way you're saying it's very confrontational. And it's not cool to be that way, bro. We're not what giving are you, talking you... About? There you go again. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you... Yeah. It's, like, it's very hard to go with something like that, you know? Like, just try and say it in a way where we can all, like, understand it. It sounds like you're sort of, what do you mean? We've got... It's got to be this way, because you're so adamant. You're right. But like Ryan said, we've just got to talk about it like adults. You're having a go at me. I'm, I'm having a go at you. I'm, I'm having a go at the way you... You are. You... Let's go the other way. Honestly, that's not even... I'm not even... That's OK, honestly, let's yeah. go. There are clearly a lot of alpha personalities on the island, all vying for dominance within the group. Celebrities are often driven by ego, and in normal life, maybe that actually fuels their success. But if these alphas start to compete instead of cooperate in a survival situation, the jungle is going to bite them, and hard. You getting any smoke? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, this is hot. Is Ryan back? No one's back. We're really, really, really worried about the boys. Pack of alpha males out with their machetes. You know, they absolutely want to do their very best and to help, and they're using every ounce of energy they've got. But it's about pace and planning and using our brains probably more than using our muscles right now. There's a sea down there, what the fuck's that about? Hold on. What the fuck? Oh my God, are you telling me we've gone, oh, we live just the other side of them rocks? And we've gone all that way and we could have just walked here? Yeah. After a gruelling four hour trek, the celebs have arrived at a beach, just a stone's throw from their camp. No, it can't be. Oh man. Boys, oh, this makes me want to fucking cry. There's a stream. Oh stream my God. here! Yes, there is. There is a fucking stream. The fucking stream here! Yes! Mate, it is, I can see it! It's a fucking stream! That's it! It's the fucking water! I can see it! Oh my God. Please. Ah, uh, please be a water source. Oh, come on. Mate, I've got such a good feeling about this. If this is it, we've jackpotted it. Okay. Let's try it then. Oh, I think it's salty. Fuck, this ain't good. Uh, for fuck's sake! Oh man, fucking nightmare. Okay, we'll go back and look for your green tree. Paradise Island, full of shite. You and search party heads back into the jungle. Oh fuck! What the fuck is that? Me. Let's go. Okay. Go, on, go on. Ah, I've been stuck on them. Ah, I've been stuck by loads of them. Ah, ah. Fucking hell. Ah. Fucking hell. I've been stung about 20 times. Ah. No point me asking, are you okay? But are you okay? Fucking hell. Another one trying to get me here now. Ah. Oh, my arm is fucking killing me. Put them all. While out looking for a water source, Ewan, Ryan and Jordan were attacked by a swarm of bees. The chest one's the biggest one. And you've got about one, two... Yeah, one, two, three, four... You've got seven on your arm, one on your chest. You OK, Jordan? Can't even speak. This is a fucking horrible place. It's fucking a drop each, mate. That's our last sip. Do you know what, honestly, I'd pay a £1,000 for like a cold glass of water, well, a cold bottle of water now. I'd pay a grand, easy. You're richer than me. Well, no, I would. I'd, pay, I'd buy you one too. Oh, thanks. Daytime temperatures in the tropics can be over 30 degrees, combined with 90% plus humidity. And in that sort of oppressive heat, you can easily work your way through a litre of water an hour. 
So for these guys, finding a reliable water source is becoming more urgent by the minute. There's the tree! Yes! There's the tree! We can see the tree! Seriously? Yes, mate. Finding a green tree is a pure fucking fluke. This is what I was talking about. That looks like water. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, steady. Ryan, is there water? No. Fuck! Fuck's sake. Can't go on much longer, guys. I can't go on much longer. Oh. Yeah, I think we are quite a strong team that's come out this morning and we have fucked ourselves. No, we fucked ourselves, so we're fucking useless probably later. You ready? Do it. Gotta get it going. In camp, bitch. RJ and Melody has spent the day attempting to make fire. Let me get it started. Get your hand off. Thank you. And with their water supplies now strictly rationed, the islanders are becoming badly dehydrated. Things are not good at the moment. We are really struggling. This is a challenge, but it's supposed to be a challenge that we can achieve, not one which is actually going to give us kidney failure. <laughs> That's come from not having water. She's got to go to hospital. You need to stop recording and call somebody, seriously. She's going to be really, really poorly. Dr. Sarah is called to assess camerawoman Louise. You're all right. We're going to get you better, OK? Can I get you better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste any of it, that's why I have to swallow. We can't believe it's day two, and Lou, bless her, is absolutely puking her guts up. We need to get water. We don't have much left of this. They're just coming round the corner now, look. After the best part of a day, Welcome home. Ewan's team returns to camp empty-handed. What the hell happened? You've gone like seven hours. John, you any water yet? Yeah. We were worried. I just gave my life. You are knackered. I just gave my life. Found nothing. Got lost. Getting people lost in the woods for seven hours when we don't have water, we don't have a fire, we don't know where there is any water to boil, we don't have any food, is not smart. It does make me question whether or not we should be listening to you and any more. So I give up. So I give don't up give today. Up. It's the first day I want to give up. No, don't give up. It's just painful. <sighs> Bear Grylls, the island. You broke me. We probably have, let's say, one bottle of water between 15 of us. Yep. Yeah. Let's one just... small bottle of water. So a, there is a theoretically like a sip for everyone still. We're literally done, mate. <sighs> when you really are stripped, We've had a few people come down with fatigue, exhaustion. It's this water thing. I'm not really fearful, but I'm fearful for everyone else. I'm in trauma right now and I'm on that stage one. Do you know what I mean? Of trauma, just anger. I feel like an angry little boy, man. If we don't find this water... <laughs> the group are now beginning to show signs of chronic dehydration. They're losing a lot of fluids, a lot of salts, and the toxins are building up in their bodies. The reality is if they carry on like this, their internal organs will shut down within days. These first couple of days have been very, very tough. And I am not someone who admits that I'm weak. 
my whole career was about being mentally and physically stronger than people around me. I swear I'm embarrassed that I'm this week. Because I really, I, I, re I just want to be a strong part of this team. I want it to be the one that everyone looks, looks to. It's horrible. It's horrible being a shadow of yourself. Men, it's been a real education. The minute we got on the island, they were like, <laughs> what, what, what are we going to do? And it has not stopped since. It hasn't stopped since. It's been non-stop. And you know what? They've all collapsed now. All of them, they have all collapsed. And guess who's still standing? The five women. <laughs> My parents, they don't know that I'm here tonight because they don't care about anything I do. They just want me to get married. But obviously, Pakistani men, they don't really want to marry me <laughs> because I speak. I was brought up in a very patriarchal society. Um, my dad was the leader, he was the boss. Then all my life I have been told, you can't do that, you're a woman. You can't do that because Muslim women don't do that. I want to go on the island because this is not something that Asian women do. And all my life, I have challenged the status quo. I feel like this is a desperate situation. We have to find water. With Ewan and Ryan out of action, comedian Shazia takes up the quest. Come on, guys. Let's get this water. Yes, Let's freaking do it. Channel this anger into something useful. I need your girl strength, man. I need that woman power. I need the divine, Got it, the man. feminine divine. Do you know what? I really don't want this to be sexist, what I'm about to say, but you know, like, when women are really hormonal, time of the month and that, and, like, you get really emotional at anything, you just think, fucking hell, pull it together. I feel hormonal. I imagine this is what it must be like to be a woman. I don't think I've even got a dick left. We just had half the party leave looking for water. I mean, that's great, but they don't know how to navigate the jungle. Ah, shit, something's stinging in my head. Ah, there's a wasp. Ah, your head. Ah, ah, I didn't even do anything to these fucking wasps. Oh, get out of my vagina. It's a well-known fact, animal prints lead to a source of water. Animals need to survive. They need food and water. The prints will lead us to a stream or some source of water where animals will be drinking from. Drink that. Drain water on the leaves, dripping off the leaves. Ah. Oh. oh, man. I spit it out. Ungrateful little bitch. Shazia's search party has now been looking for water for three hours. Animals have been here. Animal prints in the sand. Just follow them. That's it. That's the fucking water. Oh, my God. It's not salty. It's fresh water. Oh, my God, that's amazing. It's not salty. It's no. not. It's not salty. <laughs> it's that's not. all we need to know. It's going to taste rancid because it's amongst That's not salty. It. That is not salty. But we have Don't spit it. back in it, guys. This but is yeah. our fucking water. Yes! Yes! Yes, Shaz! I want to cry, but I don't even think I have any tears left in these bloody eyes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking found it, lad. Found the fucking water. <laughs> it wasn't me, though. It was all the girls. Yeah, of course. Please, you've got, to, you've got to smother the girls, man. Animal prints leading to the water source. Animal homes leading to the water source. It was... It was... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> When you discover a fresh water source, it's so tempting just to lap it up and drink. But no matter how clean it looks, groundwater contains a whole host of parasites and bacteria. Before the islanders can drink it, they've got to filter it, then they've got to boil it. But they can't do that until they've made fire. 
I used to start fires all the time when I was a child. Now I can't even set this bloody coconut on fire. When I saw this on YouTube, it wasn't that hard. I'm not giving up today. He's been out here for like eight hours, nine hours. I feel fine. RJ is uh, like a, some kind of Midwestern outdoors man. If he has that look in his eye, like he could go full on batshit crazy. Oh shit. There's an ember in there for sure. Fire. Oh my God. Yes, there you go, you got it. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. It just died on me. That sucks. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh. Thirst is by far the worst feeling I have ever experienced. I genuinely don't think I prepared myself to feel this dry. Just every cell in your body just feels like a crisp. Thirst is torture. Earlier in the day, the women led by comedian Shazia found a water source. I cannot understand why it's not fucking lighting. But unable to make fire, they can't purify it. And now they're seriously dehydrated. Fuck off, mosquito. That is the darkest my weir's ever been. I'd say it's nearly brown. That's like orange brown. The situation couldn't be any more drastic. You know, you can only survive three days with no water. We have no water left, so we're just praying for a miracle. Is that thunder? Guys, we, I, just, I just heard thunder. Give us a storm! Better watch out what you ask for. For the first time since the celebs arrived, clouds are gathering over the island. Rain dance. Yeah, I'll do that. It's a tap, 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 tap. Oh, throw you in that. Get the ring. Come on. The mouth is feeling like a nun's chop. Please let it rain. Yes! So happy! It keeps coming down heavier and heavier. And you're like, Jesus Christ! I've been in depression, not having water for the last three days. And I'm going yeah. down like. Wait a minute, I can't drink all that. <laughs> start filling the jerry cans. Yeah, yeah. Guys, let's, let's start filling the jerry cans while we can. After five months of baking heat, the dry season has come to an abrupt end. That is literally the most water I've had in four days. Cheers. Safe to drink, the rainwater has saved the parched celebs and taken the pressure off leader Ewan. I cannot tell you what this rain shower is doing for morale. Because we, we won't make fire tonight, we're going to live off this for two days, probably. We, we filled all three jerry cans, so we're back now to the amount of water we had when we started this whole thing. And there was some talk even of giving them back full to bear as a sort of show-off thing at the end. And maybe fashioning a fourth one, just to really rub his nose in it. The celebs have had a lucky break, but relying on just damn pools to quench their thirst is madness. It's essential they make fire. With the onset of storm season, it's also going to be crucial to keep them warm at night. Guys, we're all going to work our tits off now. We're going to build a raised bed. All hands to deck. We want a comfortable night, OK? But with the jerry cans full, Ewan decides to prioritise building camp over making fire. Go! It's got to be a break like that every time, a little movement. One. Two, three. I'm desperate to be that strong Ewan, the guy that everyone looked to on the first day at the front with a machete. I have to get back to him, and I will get back to him. 
We need palm leaves and we need straight bamboo or straight wood. There's not enough people doing fire then. No There's seven of us building beds and two on here. fire. Guys, I'm sorry I'm calling this. We need everyone. All hands on deck, mate. 13 people are building a house. <laughs> I mean, I just, it's just crazy. Yeah, this bit. Fire is the most important. Yeah, it is. And there's only me and you, two mm -hmm. people doing it. One, two, three! One, two, three! I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. But first, I want to get fire. I think before we do anything, we need fire. Immediately. We've got water, we don't need fire tonight. He had it. It's tough. Walk with it, keep walking. This is, this is good, guys. Let's bring us back together as a team, OK? It's teamwork. Oh. Oh, oh, fuck! I think Ewan, from the very beginning, has felt entitled to tell everyone what to do. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is your high point. This is keeping you off the ground. It's already there. Then you just put palm on top of it. Why in the hell are we all listening to everything that this guy tells us to do? Ewan's determined to get the bed built before nightfall. Oh, my God! Fuck's sake. But the group have made an unsavoury discovery. We've got some serious fucking insects over here now, mate. Ah! Oh. Their building materials are infested. We tried to move some wood so that we could get off the ground. And then the moment we moved stuff, all the termites came out. And the place is now heaving with termites. It is, been, it is infested. Oh, yeah, that is a problem, though, you know. That is a problem. All right, are we abandoning? I think so. As dusk falls, the celebs are forced to abandon camp and move to the beach. The men want to take charge. Doesn't matter if they're the best leader or if they're the most suitable leader, they just want to take charge. And since the men here have been in charge, nothing, nothing good has happened. It's not, it's not going to work. I feel like I'm losing my marbles. The celebs must now endure another night without fire, oh. food or shelter. There's just bugs everywhere. It's disgusting. Where's, where's RJ? He often goes so far off and does such mysterious things that it wouldn't surprise me if he was running a cartel or something at the same time as doing this. Is that him? I found liquor. Rum. Quarter of a shot. <laughs> I think the fumes from this, if we mix it with gasoline, we could take some pretty big hits off it. <laughs> not really. I do not condone in huffing gasoline. <laughs> it's fucking freezing. Oh. In the middle of the night, oh, man. another storm hits. Seriously, you should keep warm, do star jumps and shit like that. I'm not joking, I've seen it. And Ewan's decision not to prioritise fire is having dire consequences. Oh, my God. This is like a horror film. It is a horror film. We just fucked it on the old shelter and fire thing, really, isn't it? Guys, I'll tell you what, then, right? Let's do 20 seconds of run on the spot. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, what, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nine, twenty. 20. Seventy, eighty, nine, twenty. OK, we're have a little game of word association, all right? And it's going to start with me going left, and my word is spoon. Girls, at the end, you're playing. I'm soaked all the way through. I'm just so cold. I don't know how to survive this for 28 days. It doesn't feel possible. Next time on the island. I think it's your hypothermia. Girls, the fuck out of here! If this was real life, these people would be dying. We would probably already have one person dead. Look at these lovebirds. Imagine if they had a baby, they'd bum on that in a non-dodgy way. That came out wrong. We need each other. They found love in a hopeless place. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's something in there. What the fuck is this?
In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down, perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Grand History, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyles. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I've abandoned 10 celebrities. Yeah! On a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're leaving like pigs. And with a handful of basic tools. Oh, my God. This is Lord of the Flies. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. Don't stuff the camera in my face. They'll be left completely alone. What's up? filming everything themselves. Look at that! Look at his ass! Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted. You know, that is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Just Get in! Oh, Men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside. Ewan is acting like a psychopath. <laughs> Will they have the courage? <laughs> it won't work. Won't work. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. And determination to survive. If you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. <laughs> I begin to freak out a bit. We're all going to die out here. since I dropped them on the island five days ago. Yeah! You're in total, Alpha. Can't fuck with Ewan. Under self-appointed leader Ewan... Let's do this. Three celebs went in search of a water source. We're going the wrong way. What, what are you talking, talking about? about? You're having a go at me. I'm having a go. And got lost in the jungle. We are quite a strong team that's come out this morning and we have fucked ourselves. With the Alpha males out of action, this is a desperate situation. The women, led by Shazia... Animals have been here. ...took up the quest. Ah! It's not salty. It's not. It's not salty. <laughs> but when the group failed to make fire... We've got water. We don't need fire tonight. ...they were left at the mercy of the elements. It's freezing. Sarah. It's shivering. It's horrendous. That was honestly, that was honestly like a form of torture. With the onset of rainy season, the celebrities have had a massive wake-up call. Look, on a positive note, seriously, yeah, it's stopped it's raining really now, really OK? It's actually fine. It's actually it fine. Awesome. We've just got to try and keep warm and keep your body moving. Bear Grylls normally gets naked and does press-ups in the snow. I've seen it. No, focus, seriously. With no fire and no shelter, they've left themselves dangerously exposed to the elements. It's crazy. Crazy. I don't know why we're doing this. I just think it's stupid. I could be home having breakfast. We're going to go. No fucking discussions. We're going to find somewhere to live and we're going to start building a den. The girls can recoup, relax here. I think the bigger, stronger lads, we've got to go and try and make somewhere to live. Without consulting the others... We're going to go and build it now. Ewan gathers a small team to carry out his plan. I think we need to, as we've said, whoever's got the energy... I don't even think it's about voting it. I just think no. we should say, listen, this is how it is. Yeah. It's do or die today. I need to obviously get changed. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for you. Ass. You sure, mate? Look at that, mate! Look at his ass! Hey, Ryan! Nice ass, you sexy Mancunian bastard. Survival's all about weighing up your priorities. The reality is if too many individuals are pulling in different directions, then you've got valuable time and valuable energy taken away for the things that really matter. Go on. This is our fifth night. We need fire. <laughs> we need fire because we, we obviously can't cook without it, uh, nor can we purify water to drink. I'd almost go so far as to say that fire is useful. Huh. Don't you think? Nah, I think we could go another two weeks. My season five, RJ. I'm RJ Mini. I'm best known uh, for my work in Breaking Bad as Walter White Jr. 
I really try not to get caught up too much in that Hollywood lifestyle. I really try to bring normality to my life as much as possible. I can fish. I know how to make netting. I know how to make spears. You name it, I can build it. I definitely feel that with the number of people, we can catch at least one fish. RJ knows a hell of a lot of stuff. RJ, that was skills. And he really does want the best for the group. I, I was frantic last night because I couldn't find my clothes and I was very, very uncomfortable, all the rest of it. And RJ just came and was like a brother to me and he put a jacket over my head and just looked after me, basically. He has a, a real heart, RJ. Do you think we should start on the fire? Yeah, we... the bow drill's not here. Desperate to avoid another freezing night, ex Taui star Lucy wants to join the effort to make fire. But Vital Kit is missing. When it rained last night, I said to you, and can I put this in your bag to keep it dry? And then this morning, he charged off with half of the bow drill kit. So, you know, the so top everyone's bit. gone with the bow drill, yeah. which half is our most important thing. And we just had the most horrendous night of our lives because we had no fire. We weren't all in agreement about that area anyway. No, I know. No one discussed it with us. The bigger issue is we should all be making fire. We're like the most dysfunctional family in the world. People think people from Essex are a certain type of person. A lot of people think I'm probably, yeah, stupid. I don't really have a real job and I can't really do much other than, you know, walk down a red carpet, but that could not be further than the truth. Am I ready? Yeah, you're ready. <laughs> I want to strip that all back and people to see the real me. I am a lot more hardcore than people think. Well, I hope. <laughs> Gets to day two. Oh, a scorpion. Get me off. It's all just a bit frustrating because everyone just goes off at six in the morning and doesn't discuss what they're doing. And now look at us, we've got half a bojil kit, we've got no machete so we can't eat or drink. It's just frustrating. Should we go and find the guys? OK, I might keep going. I'm at the end. I can go a bit more? No, I should work right. But it will go there, yeah? That's good. Brilliant. A kilometre up the coast, Ewan has found a location for his new shelter. I've done it before, I've built a den before, and I'm, I'm confident. I really want the guys to say, oh my God, it looks great. Because we, this is home, we've had to make a decision between like four of us. Someone had to take the ball by the horns, and the group that came out today have done that. Hello, hello. So this is where you went then? Lucy and camera operator Sally have tracked down Ewan to retrieve the missing bow drill set. The girls want to start a fire, and apparently half the fire equipment is here. I gave the doctor everything when I left to come here at 7 this morning, 100%. We've got no machetes, half a bow We only took three machetes. There's six machetes in camp, so you've got half, we've got half. There's six no, knives. I put all the machetes and stuff in the bag. Did you? So you've got all the machetes with you? I just put what was there in the bag. So, hold on, you guys left at, what, 6 a.m.? You didn't consult any of, any of the camp. Yeah, did. I, I'm sorry, where, we did. But we where, were, no, you didn't. Yeah, we didn't have a team meeting, bro. We were, we were in panic mode. Last night was so bloody traumatic. If we ever have a thunderstorm tonight, we're in exactly the same position. We might be in a shelter, but we're not going to be warm. We're going to be freezing cold and damp again. With the camera team living in exactly the same conditions as the celebs, the group's decisions also affect them. Every single person on this team needs to be making fire. You wouldn't have said that last night, though, would yeah. you? Yeah, would yeah. You said they that said last you, night? You create... Would you have said that last night about fire? Yeah. What, over said, shelter? Yeah. You would have said, said, said that when you're freezing cold, you would have said fire. Honestly? I don't think so. Ryan, please. And we just want to get a shelter for people because we didn't have it last night. We haven't done anything wrong. We just want to take care of the whole camp. Fucking hell! We're totally fucked. With the celebs divided, Ewan's team reluctantly agree to return to camp to discuss the situation with the others. Got to calm down, Ewan, honestly. I love you to death, you know I do. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, There's no egos here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, the last two or three days have shown a real pattern of individuals or individual groups going off on missions which take a large part of the day and which aren't necessarily agreed on. Well, you know, sometimes determination takes over. Yeah, yeah, but it's selfish and I, and I totally get that and it won't happen again.
Yeah. I think right now it's 100% fire. No matter what we do, no matter how long it takes, we need to get fire. Like, the law of the jungle is fire is king, and, like, if you don't have fire, you die. OK, mate, fair enough. I don't really care who gets fire as long as someone has it. it just do. Stop talking and do. On Castaway, he did it different. He did it like this, with a bamboo. Do you remember Tom Hanks? I know it's a film, but I'm just saying. After a wasted morning, the celebrities are now under pressure to get their fire going before nightfall. Hasn't that bow drill got to be the other side? Well, instead of everyone watching me, Sorry, yeah, is I'm there other stuff to do? No, OK, yeah, yeah, of course, sorry. I feel like it's that like organised chaos, we're all like headless chickens and everyone wants to do, like, be really helpful, but there's not sort of any organisation. It's going to rain. Oh, shit. To make matters worse, the spell of dry weather has come to an abrupt end. It's tough, but we're OK. It is tough, but we're OK. Nice and gently, gently, gently. Just really steady like that. I know it's not long stroke. Oh, fuck up. Everything's wet. I, I actually don't know what's happening. I think people are trying to make fire, but it's pissing down with rain. Yeah, man, what the fuck is this? I think people now understand the gravity of the situation, but there are a lot of problems. Like, it would it's not be easy warmth, to... just warmth, I think. Yeah, we need warmth. You know what, Sharon? I don't mean to be negative. I don't think we're going to get fire. Oh, man. I get really fed up. They just don't know. They, they don't know how this works. They don't know this environment. It's, it's like herding cats, trying to get people organized in a way where, where we can actually thrive. Keep working, please. Well, we all need to be working, so. The celebs did have a window of opportunity to get a fire going, but now they've wasted it. Now more than ever, they need to work as a team and focus on their two other survival priorities, shelter and food. We can't make fire anymore. It's impossible. I'm going in the jungle. Do you want to come with me? Breaking Bad star RJ wants to use the remaining daylight to look for something to eat. I just want one person, me and one other person. I can navigate the jungle very well with one person. I really can. Don't go to the jungle, bro. Swear down. I'm not, I've been I'm, there. I'm, Ain't pretty. No, dude, I'm, I'm not going to where y'all went. I'm, I just don't think you understand what happens when you turn around and you don't know where you are. It's not fun. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for food. fun. You turn around once, you miss your direction, that's it. You Wait, have to understand that. I, I just, I'm done talking about this. I'm starting to lose a bit of sympathy, man. You're being a bit silly now. You are, right, RJ? I tried to make a plan and everyone shut me down. If this was real life, these people would be dying. We would probably already have one person dead. I'm starting to puddle in my shorts. My jacket's soaking wet. It's horrendous. I'm shivering like fuck. 3 a.m. This is a serious one. Lucy's soaking wet. And I'm just so cold. For the second night in a row, the celebs are being battered by a tropical storm without proper shelter or fire to keep them warm. Don't stuff the camera in my face. Someone go and check on you. OK, OK. Oh, babe. I just feel really weak and I have to move the legs and stuff. In wet clothes, the human body loses heat 25 times faster and hypothermia is now a real danger. I just need to get warm. We are in a state of absolute abjection. Ewan is in a terrible way. Uh, Lucy's properly ill by the look of it. I just got really hot and cold and my head's pounding and I feel really sick. Get the fuck out of here! It's freezing here! Right, we need to speak to them and let them know the situation. Worried for the group's well-being. Bravo to Sarah. Dr. Sarah makes an emergency call to my safety team. Hello, Bravo. Send for Sierra. Hello, it's Sarah here. Um, just to let you know, we've got two people that are quite unwell. I think it's hypothermia. Due to the danger of deploying during an electrical storm, my safety team decide to give advice over the radio. OK, did you actually feel cold to touch? No, it doesn't feel cold on his chest. We recommend uh, get some buddy buddy heat generated. Over. Oh, rain is going nice. What are you doing? I'm making sure we're not thirsty again. 
Breaking Bad star RJ is determined to make the best of a bad situation by collecting the rainwater. I'd rather make sure that we can get as much as we can while we got it. It's just so cold. It's like torture. I know. Hey, be a little optimistic, man. I mean, we don't really got much of a choice now, do we? <laughs> oh, see, I love this guy's shit. If anyone would like to help me, I'm going to go try and make a couple of quick TPs. With hopes of immediate assistance dashed. I need wood like this, about this length. RJ seizes the initiative and sets to work on a makeshift shelter for the group. Wait, what, what should I be doing? Making a teepee. Sit down this other side, next to this long one. I just need more palms. Yo, RJ. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's all good. Hey, Ryan, bring those over here. It's actually quite dry inside. I know it doesn't look it, but it actually really is. People that are almost that have hypothermia need to go in first. Ewan, come on. No, get in here. Come on, Ewan, be strong, mate. Come on now, be strong, bro. I really need you to duck your head and just be very mindful of the beams. Hey, you sit right next to him. OK, crawl. Rotate onto the tree. After an hour's hard graft, the worst afflicted islanders are safely in RJ's shelter. Welcome to my crib. Where, what, how can you sustain all this? Everyone else is a breaching point. Do we have a choice? At the end of the day, this is what we came here for. You're an absolute hero, RJ. You're a hero. This is Mark Watson reporting from the camp where last night floods caused devastation. This is the first look inside the camp that the world's press has had since the event. People sit around telling each other folk tales and anecdotes from the only way is Essex in order to try and brighten the mood. A doctor, meanwhile, makes emergency inspections to see how many further lives have been blighted by this tragedy. The courage of these people in the face of these awful scenes should not be underestimated and their efforts to persevere with good humour and stoicism are Pretty impressive. Mark Watson news it. Uh, we don't we don't know what the time is. The celebrities have made it through the night thanks to RJ's emergency shelter. Oh, is that RJ down there? But it comes at a price. RJ, are you sleeping? His hands are wrecked from all the things he's been doing with them. I'm going to let him sleep because he's exhausted, and he's helped so much with. Put trying to make people dry at night and building shelters and teepees and things and stuff, so he needs an hour. Here they are. Now able to deploy, my safety team arrives on the island to assess the situation. Right, how was last night? Awful. Um, awful. It's really awful. Just wet. Just, just absolutely wet. soaking wet and, and freezing cold and nothing we could do to, to stay dry, to be honest with yeah. you. Everything's damp. I'm going to be brutally honest with you because I think that's what you need at the moment. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass and say that you're doing a, an amazing job and everything's great because things can improve. See the difference? That's dark and a bit wet. And then you've got all that nice dry stuff. The celeb's failure to work as a team has had dire consequences. After a night of torrential rain, there's no way they're going to start a fire anytime soon. And with the group at breaking point and now at serious risk of hypothermia, I've got no choice but to throw them a lifeline. We needed some help. Do you know what? I actually don't feel that bad about it because I just think the fact that we've had this horrendous rain, you just kind of feel like we're getting some really good direction. But not all of the islanders welcome my safety team's help. I really feel like we could have done this on our own. I look over and... The only person that's doing a lot of the work is the survival team that came. Fucking smoke. No smoke without fire. Guys! Fire! Oh my god! Yes! Shavings! Shavings! Oh my god! Come on, wood shavings, guys! Wood! Wood shavings! Here! Well done, you and. Yesterday it felt like there was no light at the end of the tunnel, but today, oh, oh, it's a good feeling. It's given us a bit of a lease of life. With a fire started and the weather improving, my safety team leave the island. 
we've got our fire now, which is amazing, which means we can have dry clothes. Yes! Camp morale is just like, oh my God. Hair's looking on point. D Danny Zuko, eat your heart out, yes. This is like Dad Dalton, proper Dad Dalton. <laughs> But Breaking Bad star RJ is refusing to join in with the group's celebrations. I came here to survive, and I feel that there isn't a lot of people that, that realize how serious this is and, and what we are doing here. Hey, gather around. Everyone, listen. RJ assembles a group for a meeting. I just feel very disappointed in the team that we weren't more prepared. Someone comes in. Yay, we're saved, and they should have never even been on this island. They really shouldn't have. RJ, do you, do you, do you not feel happy? We're just so unorganized. I, I just really feel that over the last couple of days, we really learned nothing. We are very disorganized, RJ, but we're trying to put that right. I just know what's going to happen. So I'm leaving today. Mate, why don't you just give it three days? If the team haven't bucked up their ideas and you're still not happy and we're not pulling away, then go. I honestly don't know. I don't want anyone to go, I really don't. But he said we're very dysfunctional, which at the moment he is correct. That is accurate. Do you know what, RJ, why don't you just sleep on it and we, we talk about it in the morning, yeah? RJ is a really important part of this team. He's had the most experience in the outdoors and to lose someone like him is going to be really crucial to us. The news is a blow to the group, but there are chores to be done. Can you not remember the way to the water source? Now they have fire. At long last, the celebs can boil and purify water. Just remember, big tree, then big tree. Big tree, then big tree. This is the quickest yeah. route. I mean, what's that thing? What do pineapples grow like? What do they...? They're in the ground in a root with the tops coming out I of them. It looks like a pineapple. pineapple! What's the matter? Where? Where? Pineapple! Loads of them! Pineapples. There's one there, there's one oh here. God, pineapple. Pineapple! Guys, look! Woo! Yes. Pineapple! Oh my wow. God. This is the best thing we've had all week. This is sexual. This is like crack cocaine. Just a present! There is food here. There's food on this island, and we can survive. Pineapple! Hey. Pineapple! Hey. Yeah. Hey. You have two big beets each, and one of the small bits, so you have three all together. Yippee! I'm trying not to waste the juice. I'm like, no pineapple at home that tastes like this. Oh. Yeah, the man from Del Monte can go fuck himself. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the best thing that's ever been put in my mouth. <laughs> Um, Just occasionally, this brutal environment drops something completely unexpected into your lap. It won't stop you from starving, but just a little bit of sugar restores your glucose levels and does wonders for morale. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good fire, man. Well done, RJ. How are you feeling, though? Better? Uh, yeah, I guess. With the group spirits lifted, the celebs are hoping RJ will change his mind about leaving. All we're saying is you're a massive asset to the team and maybe you just slow down a little bit. Stop putting, your, yeah, stop putting yourself under pressure. I, I really hate to, like, to sound like an asshole, but I know what I need to do. We need you here because this is a long time. I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm really disappointed that RJ wants to go. So it's really difficult because we all want to keep him because he's got a, a mind of information. Before you put it on, let me let me organise the fire because the fire is killing itself. I think he's the main man here. He's an ultimate survivor as far as I'm concerned. Bravo to Papa, bravo to Papa, over. Hello, bravo, stand for Sierra. Um, I, I want to leave. I feel that it's... It's something that I have to do, and I've made up my mind. Hey, everyone.
everyone. It's official. They're on the way. After just eight days on the island, Breaking Bad star RJ has decided to leave. You do the right thing for yourself and you've done yeah. that, okay, mate? So, yeah. and don't worry, we're gonna stay alive. Good luck, mate. Look out for yourself, man. Yeah, I will. Happy? I, I can't be a part of this anymore. I've decided to leave this because of the group. Feel in, in, in a survival situation, a few of these people probably would have been eaten. Drink and eat well. Have a beer for us. Bye, RJ! I think RJ blaming the group dynamic is a, an interesting way to say I want to go home. It feels like a betrayal to some extent. Ooh. We've got no survival skills. Our camp has zero survival skills. People don't realize how much we're going to miss you. I do. Losing a member of the team is the clearest possible sign the group survival strategy just isn't working. They need to think long and hard about what's gone wrong and then start pulling together as a team. We need some carbs. Hard. Fuck it. I haven't got any fucking energy, have I? It's eight days since the celebrities have eaten a proper meal. So frustrating because there's so many things that look like yucca. Finding food is now an urgent priority. I can see 200 snails in one glance, and they're famously slow, so we would get them as well. I've ensured the island has enough vegetation and indigenous animals throughout to keep them alive. But for the exhausted celebs, finding food is easier said than done. I've been in and out of the jungle all day. We were out for seven hours looking for yucca and we brought home some coconuts. How depressing. After a day's hunting, the celebs head back to camp with little to show for their efforts. What would make you happy, Sharon? <sighs> Pina colada. <laughs> and, a, and a Big Mac. <laughs> oh, hang on, guys. RJ, this is glasses. Now, I'm telling you, man, the wind is coming in from the <laughs> southwest. Now, what that tells me is the mosquitoes will go north, but the food will go east. And what we got to do is we've got to drain the water. And trust me, these glasses are bifocal. We're at RJ's laboratory, <laughs> and we have found <laughs> rainwater <laughs> in the bottles that he actually advice. cut yeah, and lined them up here. All right, sweetheart. Tastes like Evian. I've been dreaming of that. Oh, cheers to RJ. Even though he's gone, his presence is still here. I just haven't got anything left in me. I know. I'm on zero. I know. It's just not me, and I hate it. I'm like the opposite person to me. I know. I know we You've all You've been are. amazing the whole time. Can I have a walk? Yeah, have a little Try walk and have a little walk and a talk. The day's excursions have taken their toll on model Lucy. You ain't dying. Worried she might follow RJ, actor Ryan takes her for a heart to heart. You're determined, you're strong. That's why I get on with you so well. I'm just broken. Well, you've got to do this. You've got to. I know how lucky I am to have a really special bond with Ryan. He's honestly the kindest person I've ever met. We're literally like best friends. We, we talk about everything together. I just want you to do this for you, darling. I know I you'd be do sure it so bad. I, just, I know you do. I just I can't explain how I feel. I know you probably feel just as shit. No, I don't feel. I, I do feel shit, but I I feel more shit when when I feel when I feel you like this, because it rubs off on me. Your energy rubs off on me, and it makes me really upset. Today is probably the lowest I've felt for a while. I don't want to quit. I never I've never quit any challenge I've taken on, but. I'm very close. Despite his own exhaustion, Ryan heads off alone in search of food for Lucy. Yeah, it's heartbreaking because she's my little soulmate in here and see her be so tough and then crack like that really worried me, scared me a little bit. Um, and I really don't want her to go. Right, you're going to put the flour in? The one thing that's made me the person I am today is family. Um, you no, know, my relationship's amazing with my daughter, Scarlett. Keep going! I'm quite a soppy guy. 
I'm very old fashioned in the fact that I like to be the man who looks after the women. I'm a single, yes, I'm single. I don't think you could even find romance on an island where you're there to survive, trying to cop off the ladies with stinky breath and not showered in three weeks. It's not the way forward, is it? It's not the most impressive start. Where's Ryan? Where is Ryan? Ryan! Ryan hasn't been seen for over an hour. Ryan's disappeared. I'm telling you, he's gone off on his own. I know he has. The celebrities have agreed not to leave camp without at least one other person in case they get into difficulty. Ryan! Ryan! That we have to stay in pairs because, you know, he could have walked over those rocks, bumped his head, and God knows what would happen, you know? There's only so much help we can get here. And he's walked off on his own. And I'm more panicked. Everyone's really panicked. It's horrible. It was the most horrible feeling. Ryan! There's someone over there on the rocks. What are you doing, bro? Sorry, man. Stupid idiot. Why is he such a twat? I just went, I went around the beach and I just carried on to see if he was any live there. And I just had to carry on a little bit. So what? I can't be bothered. Worried everyone. Sorry, boys. He's not getting any sympathy from me. Silly move, I know, but I just went round the cove and then another cove arrived and I thought, oh, I just want to see if there's any life here. He's in fucking lunatic town, that's what it was. This one I need to get is a bitch and it's the juiciest one. After returning empty-handed from his solo expedition, Ryan is determined to get Lucy at least something to eat. You can't get all the way up there, babe. No, it's that one there, see that? Just don't hurt yourself. Please. I just want this one I'll get down, I promise. The desperation now is ridiculous. Like, literally putting your life at risk to get a coconut. Men. men. Bloody men. Bloody women? Yes! Yes, you got it. Really careful. Slowly. Yes. Just go slowly, please. Yes! Thank you. But don't do it again, you silly boy. He's worrying me. He keeps climbing up trees. He's not supposed to do that. He keeps wandering off and he's worrying the whole camp and worrying me because I don't want him to hurt himself because I don't want him to go. Yeah. Promise you, darling, I'm going to get him yucca tomorrow. Our hero. <laughs> Look at these lovebirds walking off arm in arm. That's right. Surprised they've got energy for any of that, mate. Good on them. It, it's friendship at the moment. I agree with you, and that all we're seeing there is friendship with a view to possible long to medium term banging. <laughs> we discovered this morning Ryan won Best Bum of the Year 2008, uh, and Mecklenburg was number seven in FHM's 100 Sexiest Women in the World. Imagine if they had a baby, they'd bum on that in a non dodgy way. The genetics. That came when out wrong. Up, what yeah. I meant is, if they were to have a child, imagine in the future the physique of that child and the beautiful looks. We've been caught. Cool. <laughs> like we're naughty children. <laughs> You're 32, I'm 25. <laughs> it's all right, I think. Over a week of near starvation, all the celebrities have to eat tonight is a handful of snails Mark collected earlier. We have to um, smash everyone individually. Sorry, guys. So yeah. grim. Not a lot to see, but it's a little tiny creature like that. You have to winkle it out and um, like a sort of fishy jelly top, if you like. Excuse me. Sorry. We need more food than this, but in our situation, that is like going to the fat duck, basically. We're basically running on shit unleaded. The red light came on three days ago. We're starving. After last night's meagre meal, the celebs wake up hungrier than ever. I, I feel so weak. My body's eating itself. It yeah. just feels all my goodness I have inside over the years of training and stuff is just eating. I can feel myself shrinking. It's silly saying it, but I can physically feel myself shrinking, not just size-wise externally. I know all my organs and everything inside are just fighting to work. It gives me a glimpse, and this may sound really morbid. My co coach resting, who died very recently, when I went to see him in the care home, he, he, he stopped eating, he kind of gave up and he was so frail. 
And I can kind of see in a weird way, yeah, without the food, without the nutrients, you do become so weak, you must just sleep and pass away. The celebrities are fast approaching the point of no return. They've hardly eaten anything. And the reality is they're getting weaker by the minute. And if they don't find food soon, what is a hard situation is going to become an awful lot worse. Right, let's go. We're off to get water. Good, Good luck, girls. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Take it steady. The group plan to go out hunting again. But first, they must replenish their all-important water supply. It doesn't look like the most appetising. No, it doesn't. I just saw bubbles in the water. Poke. I'll poke. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God! What oh, my it? God! Yeah, there's something in there, but I don't know what it is. Stay calm. The celebs have stumbled on the island's most fearsome predator. Can you run back because you know the direction the best? OK. If they can kill it, the croc is big enough to provide a substantial meal. I know it's so scary, but we have to think of this as a godsend because we haven't eaten in nine days. Everybody stay calm. What? There's a caiman. Holy shit. In our water source. Oh, my God. So, whoever's feeling... Let's go. Relax. I heard someone say Cayman. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. Let's fucking get it. I have to do this. This is what I came to the island for. I need a knife. I'll put it in your kit. Come on, mate. We've got this. Good luck, guys. Be safe, please. Desperate to provide for the group, Ewan and Ryan decide they will take on the Cayman together. Oh, Ryan and Ewan, the big boys. Don't do anything stupid. I want you to come back in one piece. No panicking, mate, no hesitation. We've got this. It is a bit of a double-edged sword that they found the camera because, for all we know, it might be really hungry, thinking, I hope some people come along. It could play out either way, is all I'm saying. Come, come, come! Is it in the water? He is. Fuck. Head is definitely there. You can see its eyes if you look carefully enough. I see, I see it, I see it. We need to get it out of the water. Let's get him out. Here he is, mate. Here's his head here. I'm poking it. The celebs have been taught how to catch and kill a crocodile, but only on dry land. He's gone under a bit. In the water, the croc is far more dangerous. Oh, yeah, fucker. He's right here, guys. Let's just try and entice it out of the water full stop. That's one of its arms. <laughs> oh! The Cayman crocodile has razor-sharp teeth, lightning reflexes, and a bite that is three times more powerful than a lion's. <laughs> Try tackling one of these prehistoric beasts in the water, and you're immediately at a disadvantage. The croc's in its natural habitat, and you're not. One false move, and these scenes can literally rip your arm clean away from your shoulder. Grab his tail and pull him out. I'm just saying, you know that in our training we were told never to go near its tail. I'm just worried that it's going to jump out and chop someone's hand off. Drag him to a space, a space. Oh, shit, that was coming to me fucking near okay, my hand, okay, that. Okay, okay. That was too near my hand, that. I recommend we go from head, which is what we were taught. We get the noose behind the back teeth and go for the head. Oh, I don't need this, guys, man. I don't won't need work, this. Man. It won't guys. work. I know, I know, but please, just please. So what are you trying to do, Ryan? We're trying to, to do it. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. Please, it'll just take time, patience. Don't need everyone saying a bit two pennies every five seconds. So why aren't we doing it the way we were taught? I'll tell you what, do you want to do it then? No, just do it. If you, if you, do it if you do we do it, it the way we are you do taught it. to do Ryan. it, do it. Ryan. Well, let's do it, let's I'm, do I'm it. Gonna... Two, Ryan. three opinions Ryan. is enough. Yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Everyone was talking over each other. They just get so fucking excited. They're like 14-year-old boys. Ryan, Ryan, let's try and get the noose on his head. Let's just try it, OK, mate? He opens his mouth now and then get him. 
Can you give me a little hit on the head? A bit harder. There. Oh, he had his mouth open. Ah! That was dangerous. Right, let's have a two minutes. Almost an hour has gone by, and the celebs are losing the battle. Fucking hell, that was scary. You just want to get to it. Let's try again, let's see if we can get his body up. Right, who's got sticks to poke? I've got, I've got one. I know it's scary, you use, you use right, it, right, I'll right, yank right. him out. Right. There he is, got him? Yeah. Right, can you get a noose on? Get the noose on first, get the noose on. Yeah, back teeth. That's going to be enough, I pull it. Pull the string, pull the right string. Down. Pull it right down, pull it right down. Pull it right down. Pull it right down. I've got it, Sharon, I've got it, Sharon, I've got it, Sharon. Pull hard, pull hard, pull hard. Not tying up. Not tying up. Yes, it is. I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. Yeah. Come on, man. Out of the way. OK, let's, let's settle him down there, Ryan. Do you want to do it, join in? I've got it, you've got to do it for it, I've got it. No, 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 you do it, you do it. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! Get in her! Go on! These two fucking <laughs> alpha males, I can't. You alright? Uh, yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright. We needed him, man. I just need to eat, man. He's okay, so, so need... happy. I oh, know, we need a. St it's alright, mate. Tyler, for you, you're a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. They just like murdered that. an animal in cold blood. It's really awful to watch. It doesn't feel very nice, but we're hungry. <laughs> and it's him or us, I'm afraid. I don't feel sad one little bit, and I don't know if that's just I'm so tired, I've got no feelings, or I'm just so hungry, I'm grateful. Let's so go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Came in burgers tonight, without the bun and lettuce and ketchup. <laughs> we need a big fire. Woo! <laughs> Is a lovely fucking animal. Oh my god! It's strange because I feel quite proud that I've killed a caiman and perhaps I should be feeling bad. But if I'm honest, I don't. I don't have any emotion at all. I just saw it as food. I didn't see it as an animal. Oh. Well, they say that the sweetest meat is always nearest the bone. That's dinner. Well done, guys. And when you've risked your life to kill the island's most fearsome predator, that sense of triumph can be overwhelming. You're the best. The celebs have landed themselves a feast of epic proportions. I can't believe the veggie's oh, doing the blood's this. Oh, coming out. Oh. Oh. You're a legend for doing this as a vegetarian. I'm only child. doing this so that you lot eat. Lucy and Shazia. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Volunteer to gut the caiman. I don't know what to do. I've never killed a crocodile before. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, these are the intros. Oh! oh. oh. Jesus. Oh. I never thought I'd be capable of doing what I'm doing, but I'm just pushing myself to do it. Sometimes you have to. You have to push yourself. Come on, lads. Put the dinner on. Let's have some silence. Sizzle on the barbie. Food is so close. The anticipation is rising very fast. It's, it's the most ready in my life I've ever been to eat a member of the crocodile family. First bit is being served. Big boy, I've got to try a bit of that. It's a celeb's first proper meal in nine days. Oh. Thousands of nutritious calories of protein and fat. It really is nice. Mmm. It's good. It's like the best feeling ever, having to chew something properly, eat. And all the hard, all the hard work that everyone put into catching it and filleting it and gutting it, it's so worth it. Mm. The killing of the caiman has presented vegetarian Shazia with a dilemma. I haven't eaten meat for seven years. But survival times. I know. We're absolutely starving. It's fine. It's fish. It's just yeah. a little fish. <laughs> oh god. It's like a lamb chop. It was a desperate situation. It's not. I'm not proud of it. It was a great effort today, everyone.
we're beginning to really work together as a team, but I know what this island's like. We obviously can't just sit back and think we're there yet because some bastard thing will happen later. But there are highs and lows. Yeah, today's a high. And right now is a 420 high if you know what I mean. You know that is the penis, that bit, don't you? Thanks for that, Ewan. Right? I think we're all going to have a nap after this. Food coma. Literally the dream day. It's like the best day ever. I don't care that I didn't sleep last night. We're happy. We're a happy little group now. Look at this. Yeah. It seems so cute. They found love in a hopeless place. Yeah. Next time on the island. I want a wild boar. You and I'm worried about your mental health. Bang! Bang! Fish! It's all fish! Jordan, can you help? I'm not very good at tidying. Jordan, he doesn't seem to do that much. Fuck this, I ain't worked my whole life to have this shit. God, I'm fucking knackered. Oh, crikey. Shazia, you had more ketones in your urine. My body is officially starving to death. <laughs> Somebody, could they help? Shit. In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down, perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Royal Street, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyles. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I've abandoned 10 celebrities. Yeah! on a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're living like pigs. With a handful of basic tools oh. and fishing equipment. This is Lord of the Flies. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. Don't stop the camera in my face. They've been left completely alone. What's that? filming everything themselves. Look at that! Look at his ass! Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted... You know, there is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Get in! <laughs> Men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside... Ewan is acting like a psychopath. Uh, Will they have the courage to... Oh, oh, it won't work! You don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds, just chill! And determination to survive. If you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. Ah. I begin to freak out a bit. We're all gonna die out here! Team. Since I dropped them off on the island ten days ago, the group's efforts to make fire... I think it's hypothermia. Girls, how are we? ..and build shelter... We need all hands on deck! It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know why we're doing this. ..all ended in failure. We need fire. Immediately. When they were thrown a lifeline by my safety team... Oh, man. ..breaking bad actor RJ Mitty decided to quit. I've made up my mind. I want to leave. Ooh. Our camp has zero survival skills. After nine days of starvation, <laughs> finally the group's alpha males oh, scored. Yes! Get in there! We're beginning to really work together as a team. Mm. But three days later, the good times are a dim and distant memory. I got sand fly bites on my face. I got sand fly bites on my nose. Got sand fly bites everywhere I stay. I get bites everywhere I go. My butthole was stinging, now it's itching. I don't know what's going on. I think you've been bitten up there. In, on the oh, anus hole. Singing. Yeah, um, on my anus hole. The celebs have now been living in extreme conditions for nearly two weeks. 
It's a horror film. It's reality, but it's a horror film. Waking up like zombies, itching our own skin. Well, I it, isn't it, Sitting here, trying to filter brown water. Yeah. Shit, awful. The problem with this island is the minute you get one high, you immediately get dragged down to a very, very, very low. Well, it's now three days since the group hunted down and killed that Cayman crocodile. And the reality is they're now deteriorating fast, both physically and mentally. The next few days are going to be critical. Will they turn things around or will they end up turning on each other? The place is a shit hell, isn't it? It's an absolute mess. For a paradise island, it's a shit hell. I have got to throw that bloody Tampax on the fire. It's driving me potty. Which one? Why have we got Tampax all over the bloody camp? Come on, I'm, I'm up for a t bit of a tidy. I'm not very good at tidying. Why are you not good at tidying, Jordan? How difficult is tidying? I don't know. I've, I've tried really? for about 25 years, yeah. Well, maybe it's time to learn. 25, yeah. it's time to learn how to tidy. Hey, hey. Um, I don't appreciate your tone with that, to be honest, because I genuinely yep. do struggle. Well, there you go. Grow up a little bit. <laughs> How about I just piss off to another eye? Everyone's getting a bit aggy now, I think. The moment you put people under stress like this, it's impossible to be harmonious all the time, and it's tough. Everyone, I'd just like to call a little meeting, please. After three days without a proper meal, Ewan wants to get the entire group out hunting. I know everyone's going through a really low day in terms of we've had the highs of loads of food, now we've got the bit of the low. We've just got to try and pull together. This is like a relationship and we're having an argument and we need to say, come on, I love you because of X, Y and Z. Let's crack on. Yeah. And we have to try and find food. Let's do it, guys, come on. Let's push through. Jordan, can you help? We're all fucked, mate. 20 years younger than me, come on, fella. You got this. Oh, you can have a coconut first thing. I have to pass out. My name's Jordan Stevens. I am one half of Rizzle Kicks. <laughs> if I was to describe my personality... Let me be myself. Bit of a mess. Bit of a joker. <laughs> I want a taste of that beauty, y'all. Hyper-creative, for sure. Some people do what they do. Some people say what they like. I've always had issues with authority. Um, I think a lot of people think I'm quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Jordan sometimes winds me up. We spent the last few days literally sleeping. I asked him, could he help me fan the fire with a plastic tray that washed up? He said, well, I've never done it before. I won't be very good at that. And I was like, well, I've never done it before. Can you try? He went, no, I'll be no good at that, and walked away. I mean, let's face it, he's a big, strong bloke. He really could do a lot. That would do some serious damage. Following his Cayman kill, Ewan is determined to score another big feast for the group. I want a wild boar. It's a film, Rambo, First Blood. And he, and he gets a wild boar in that, and he's got his knife, and it's a great scene where he's just, it's just, it's just silhouetted out, and he's just going, and you hear the boar go, and the blood going, and he's just, bah, bah, bah. and then he cuts off a big leg, chucks it over his shoulder, and goes to the fire. You and, and I'm feeds. worried about your mental health. I was always mental, Lucy, don't worry about it. Very disturbing. I'm alpha male, aren't I? I can't change what I am. Have you not had enough of killing? Never. You can never kill enough. Every time Ewan gets his hand on a machete, it's mental, it's madness. As though that is the answer to everything. Just chop its bloody head off. Quick release, down. Bang! Bang! Ready. I think you've lost it, Ewan. With Ewan heading out solo... I'm ready to hunt. I've been ready since I was born. Right, let's do this. Lucy's leading a hunting team into the jungle. Did you just step over, Sharon? Yep. While Sharon and Shazia are on fishing duty. You nearly lost the rod. I've ensured the island has enough water, vegetation and indigenous animals throughout to keep them alive. But only if they have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. Which way, guys? Guess is as good as ours. Lucy, Melody and Dr Sara have been hunting for the past three hours. Ooh. The fuck? 
Oh my god, what is that? A little ratty thing here. They've stumbled across a possum. Perfect for a protein-rich snack if they can catch it. Aww, so cute. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. I'm hungry, but he's so cute. I'd rather have him as a pet. We need we need solid food. We can't be just eating coconut. I couldn't eat that. He wouldn't feed many of us on him anyway. Despite their craving for calories. See you later, buddy. The girls can't bring themselves to catch and kill the possum. Good spot, though. I'm gonna stay on the island. I'm gonna stay on the island. Having woken from his nap, Jordan's reluctantly agreed to go fishing. Here he is. Finally. But the 25-year-old musician is finding island life a challenge. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck are you supposed to fish? I love being creative and I feel starved creatively. I can't write anything down. I can't creatively think, really, other than, like, creative ways to not feel starving. Creative ways to pretend like I know how the fuck to hunt in a jungle. Que sera, right? Just gonna trudge on through like a miserable shit, laughing at my own pain and fucking misery. I can't really see any fish here. I'm tired. Jordan's been up and down more than my mum's knickers. I mean, he's <laughs> up and down all the time. I think he's in an atmosphere which is alien to him. He's a young kid, he's got a lot of energy, but his highs and lows are very high and very low. And that's hard for him to deal with and for us to deal with. Coconuts are your friends. That's coconuts. That's coconuts. That's coconuts. Got a fish! I got a yeah! fish! Well done, ladies. We've got dinner. We've got dinner tonight. Oh, well done. Oh, God. Everyone was saying to me before we left, make sure you get a fish, make sure you get a fish. <sighs> so glad that we've got something for them. Well done on your fish. I don't know anything about fishing. I've never caught a fish in my life. Look how big it is. <laughs> when things are really tough, that is when you really have to push yourself to make things happen. Fantastic job, all right? Rubbish hunting trip. I tried. Despite their best efforts, all the other celebs are returning to camp empty-handed. Absolutely starving. Jordan! If he's caught something, he's the luckiest fisherman because he's not even awake. Jordan! Bloody idiot. That is so dangerous. On the edge of that cliff. Jordan, caught anything, mate? Wake up, mate. Wake mm. up, man. Mate, are you okay? Sorry. You hi. caught anything? Yeah. Have you? No. Oh. Yo, Shaz, am I in the right place? You're in the right place, Jordan, but you need to stay awake. First rule. Fucking bell end. <laughs> He did catch something, a couple of Zeds. Unbelievable. What next? I feel like I'm on a school trip. Fuck this, I ain't worked my whole life to have this shit. I am just thinking about pepperoni pizza, like a whole one. Yeah, oh. from Domino's. A big burger with bacon and, burger. and like, cheese melting out the side. The celebs have now been living on a near-starvation diet for almost two weeks. Everyone's talking about food. It's making me feel worse. I don't want to hear it. People are talking about what they're going to have when they get out. It's not helping us in here. Even the straw in my mouth all of a sudden looks appetising. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry, too. <laughs> Yesterday, comedian Shazia caught one fish. But with a group of 14 to feed, it gave them no more than a mouthful each. I don't think my body at 54 can take the sort of punishment that I'm putting it through at the moment. I'm pretty close to saying this is as far as most bodies can be pushed. No sleep for 10 days and no food for 10 days. It's pretty unhealthy, really. My name is Sharon Davis. I used to swim many years ago. I've got an Olympic silver medal, two Commonwealth golds, two Commonwealth silvers, two Commonwealth bronzes, I think, a couple of European bronzes. <laughs> I don't know what half of them are. So I'm a mum of three. Oh! <laughs> I don't get it. And we're quite a, a close family. What do you want to do? 
press ups. I am always at the end of the telephone for them and I speak to them every day. That's going to be very hard. I love a challenge. I think the island probably is the ultimate challenge. Sharon, you're right. You don't look very well. I'm all right, baby. I'm just tired. Really? Yeah. Everything is a massive effort. And I'm missing my children. I just feel like I'm doing a rubbish job as a mum. You're an amazing mum. You are an incredible mum. But I'm not there, babe. Just miss them. <laughs> Sharon is a very strong woman, an Olympic swimmer, athletic. But this island is not about the body. This is a test of mind over matter. This is a test of mental strength over physical strength. I'd just like to call a little meeting, please. Once again, you and Cools are grouped together to dole out the day's jobs. Just to get this clear, the priorities today is obviously bringing back water that can be filtered, keeping the fire alive, and we have to try and find food. Can't be bothered. We're all hurting, come on. Yeah. Oh, on we go. Following his failed fishing trip, Jordan's been persuaded to go foraging for food with Melody. Can you go and clean this in the sea, I'll wash it off, yeah. But I'll see if I can find a cleaner looking bottle to start with. Can you get, an, can, can you get a, an, a bag empty, please? A bag? Yeah, like, like just this? temporary, yeah, so we can bring anything back. Let's go. Be right back. Jordan's not actually doing anything. Yeah. Mark, get this. Melody, get this. I can't do. Jordan's so up and down, he might have energy at 6 a.m. and then he's done for the day. He's just a bit like a hormonal teenager, really. Coconuts are your friends. That's coconuts. That's coconuts. That's coconuts. That's coconuts. Mmm, swamp water. This is going to be our first month of my calendar shoot. Here we have a Jordan floating, doing the dead man. It's wild in the wild. <laughs> Jordan starts things and he doesn't finish them. But he is someone who I have definitely connected with. I love him. I do see him as a little brother. Stupid ass. <laughs> oh my God. It's all in one piece. Guys. Yeah. Come in. While out scavenging, Sharon has made a discovery. I found a net. Wow. Oh, which could be the answer to all our prayers. Fish net. Yes. Oh, my God. Massive. Loads of it. Absolutely huge. It changed the mood in camp like that. I can't tell you how much difference it made. You know, we're all of a sudden, the morale just lifted, and people were thinking about what food they might catch. We can get 40, 50 fish in one go here. We'll have a constant supply. Let's see how quickly we can get it out. I feel like it's a bride's trail. <laughs> Jesus, how are we going to get this in? <laughs> I don't know, you're the swimmer. Desperate for something to eat, the group's two stronger swimmers, Sharon and Shazia, waste no time setting the net. Okay, move it a little bit closer that way and a little bit further out. Keep pulling it backwards. Look at Alvin. She can hold her breath for ages. I know, she's this lean, mean swimming machine. We're going to have some sort of weight now to maybe go down to that final level of A fishing net is a key survival tool. It could entirely turn the group's fortunes around. Get it right, you unlock the ocean's larder. Get it wrong, and all you're going to be doing is wasting precious time and precious energy. Two resources that they can't afford to lose. Be careful, guys. It's a long time in the water for people that are very, very, very weak at the moment. They have to pull it up. The net's spread out now, so you should be OK. Sea is a dangerous place. We're obviously fatigued. It's like swimming in treacle. It's really hard. Be careful, guys. It is working. I mean, I can see it. It's making an arch. We should be able to feed ourselves. Woo! 
I mean, if we could survive off fish... That size, you could get 30 to 40. I hope so. Well, we've got it all set up now. Yeah. We just have to make it work for us. So now I'm another woman, 54 years old. My missus looks like that, but she's 54. Rock on. When I was out being no good, as I am, cos I'm a bad boy. After a wasted morning, Melody's finally persuaded Jordan to start foraging in the jungle behind camp. We should probably go back and just chill at the fire. We can't quit. It seems like a bit too much effort now, right? No. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Sheesh, come on. <sighs> Looking for yucca and anything else we can chuck a... Nobly stem. Really? Fucking yucca! <laughs> yes! Yucca! Yeah. Fuck. After just 20 minutes, Jordan stumbled across yucca. Wow. The tropics version of the potato. Hey, these yucca are the same colour as us. It is actually the exact same colour. <laughs> what a fucking day. Just cut down a fucking yucca tree. Game on, mofo. Found a yucca! No! no. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Woo. It was right there. Was... Love you! Can't believe it. I didn't mean to. I... Some things are right in front of you when you don't even look for them. Can't believe it. After weeks of searching for the elusive plant, the celebs can hardly believe it's Jordan who's found it. Uh, Jordan, thank you very much. But did you find the yucca, or in a way, did the yucca find you? Kind of just presented itself to me, but... Uh... He just got lucky. Saw something in my eye. It's a knobbly stem. That's a yucca tree to my surprise. I found yucca, oh, found yucca, oh. King and queen of the kitchen. Camp lovebirds Lucy and Ryan are on dinner duty. Dinner tonight? We're going to have chips. They kind of all got stuck in the jerry can. It's coming out. <laughs> Start watching a husband and wife in the kitchen. <laughs> what husband and wives have you been looking at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. I'm a big fan of you being in the kitchen, but. Oh. Oh, wow, this is a moment, guys, isn't it? Make the most of it. We don't know when it's going to happen again. Oh, it tastes no. lovely. It kind of tastes like a raw swede. I could eat them all day. As long as I've cooked it enough and no one gets ill. If you don't cook yucca enough, it's poisonous, so I'm a bit worried. The yuccas provided a welcome boost. For tonight, at least, the celebs can go to bed thinking of something other than food. Of all the girls, whose moustache is really pissing them off? Yeah, I have a moustache. So on your lazy lips, then? I tried to laser my upper lip and it was... Oh, are you talking about my... No, oh. I'm talking about your moustache. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you could pick one luxury item right now, what would it be? I'd say my toothbrush. Oh, I, I definitely like agree with the toothbrush. toothbrush. I need a toothbrush An now. An electric. Doubles up as a vibrator. Oh. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I have diarrhea. The worst diarrhea I've ever had in my life. Oh, here we go. Woke up this morning, I, my stomach was hurting. I was standing right here and I was like, I'll let a little fart out. Shit it on myself. You shit? Yeah. You shit yourself? You follow first? Yeah, I sharted. I had a bad stomach, but I didn't shart. Shart's bad. Yeah. And I had to run to the fucking woods. <gasps> oh, my fin God. Finish it, go on the sea, come out, do it oh again. Oh, my God. Once it's out of your system, you'll be OK. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm able to, like, squeeze my butt cheeks and keep it in now. I can dictate when when to splash on a tree. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Melody's not the only celeb who's been struck down with a dodgy stomach. I was warned that diarrhoea is, like, one of the worst things you could get. And I just feel a little proper weak now. But um, it's just a struggle, man. Not what I thought it was going to be. 
I can only hope that I'm growing as a person. I just got to recoup. I can't really hit myself too much. The loss of valuable nutrients has left the celebs feeling weaker and hungrier than ever. You okay, Luce? I really don't feel good. My body has been talking to me today, um, just saying, yeah, I'm hungry. Feed me. So tiring. Despite their weakened state, Shazia and Sharon set off around the headland to check the fish nets. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm going to work as hard as I can, with as much energy as I can, with all that I've got left. I'm not going to give up. Say we managed to bring in four, four decent-sized fish, at least everyone would get a few mouthfuls. Did you hear that? Somebody, could they help? What the fuck was that? That was a horrible scream. Are you with us, Shazia? Shazia, just squeeze my hand. After slipping on the rocks, Shazia has knocked herself unconscious. Are you OK? We need some medical care. Shazia's fallen over. Medical boxes, yellow one, black one. If you take some out of the game now, it's going to be so much harder to survive. Where am I going, right or left? Right. Comedian Shazia Mertza has fallen on the rocks and knocked herself unconscious. So she slipped and landed on her backside and then slapped her head. Absolutely dead out. She was dead out for a little bit. How long's a little bit? 30 seconds. Okay. Jazz. Jazzia. Jazzia. If you open up your eyes for me. Oh, crikey. Jazzia. Base to Sierra. Bravo, bravo, Sierra base, Sierra base, seven. She's fallen, she's hit her head on the floor. The tide is coming in. On route, over. I'm quick. My safety team are en route to assist Dr. Sara and decide whether Shazia needs an emergency evacuation. Two, three. I'm just pressing on your spine and you yelp if it hurts. <coughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Shazia hit her head and she lost consciousness. And then she wasn't really with us for about 20 seconds. Well, you can take a big deep breath in. She has to go because of injuries. I would be proper devastated. She keeps me alive. She's like, awesome. Know. She's gonna be so much harder to survive. You're not dizzy and faint at all. No. Okay, big effort. Up you come. After a full examination, oh. my safety team decides that Shazia can stay on the island. Perfect. We'll wait for Greg. But she must remain in camp under observation. Yes. Woo! Shazia. Yeah. Yeah. I was she going to be OK? Bumped, bruised, but Excellent. absolute trooper. Oh, Shaz, I'm glad you come back. We can't lose you. You keep us all smiling. Those rocks are so dangerous. So everything's so much more dangerous, and we've got nothing in us. It makes you feel slower in your mind as well as your body. We're all making kind of mistakes and stuff because we're so tired. We're also starving, and that's starting to take its toll on people, and people are making uh, rash decisions. I'm the doctor here. It's terrifying to think that if I'm starving as well and my brain is doing the same things as everyone else is, how am I supposed to look after everyone? I'm worried about you. Are you OK? Shazia's accident has left all the celebs badly shaken. For Sharon, it's the final straw. The conditions are just outrageous. It's just sending people into a war zone who, without a gun. It's just stupid. I'm worried about everybody. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, honestly. Bravo to Popper. Over. At first light, Sharon makes a call to my safety team. Hi, it, it's Sharon. Um, I'm ringing you sadly to say I'd, I'd like to come off the island. We're very sorry to hear that, Sharon. The last week's been a real struggle, to be honest. I feel like I'm just desperately want to get back home. Boat will come to collect you shortly over. Guys! 
What's happening? Just need to say to everybody, I I'm going to go home. Oh. So, um, yeah. Right. Obviously, we all wish you were staying. Why? Why are you going? I'm in absolute misery, having no sleep, practically no food in 10 days. I've lost the stone in weight. I just really want to go home. Oh. I'm a mum, first and foremost, and that's my priority. I just feel I'm in the wrong place right now, that's all. Well, as long as you know, your family here are going to miss you oh, as well. Unbelievably. I'm sorry. You're an yeah. amazing bunch of you. I'm so glad I've met you all. Really glad. Thank Thanks, you. Sharon. But we're oh, all really Sharon. jealous oh. of you as well. You are great. You're kind of brilliant. You're going to be all right. I'm going to miss Sharon. To be honest, I knew it was coming. She's 54 years old. Uh, listen, it, it hurts sleeping rough for the last 14 nights. Sharon is our strongest swimmer, and we are losing her. We found this net that's like a godsend. This is the time for you to shine. Don't leave now. Hello, darling. Hi. Um, we're going to really miss you. Oh, thank you. I'm going to miss you a lot every day. But also, can I have your socks? <gasps> well, you promised to tell me. Are you on the scrounge already? Yeah, oh. I thought I'd soften it with some stuff about how important you are, which is true. But I really <laughs> need some socks. There is an ulterior motive. I want your knickers. You're actually getting on that boat and going to have champagne and lobster. Oh. So, uh, we love you, darling. Love you too, right? Look after babe. yourselves. Look after each other. Losing a valuable member of the team can be devastating for those left behind. And the danger is that it opens the doors then for others to follow. Oh, God, don't you wish that was you? Bye, Sharon. Oh. And then there were eight of us. Weird because when someone gets picked up, it almost teases it. It's like, I can get on that boat and I'm sort of 24 hours from being at home with all the things that I love and all the people that I love, which makes it harder, actually, on the team, I think. Somehow. This huge childlike part of me doesn't want to be here anymore, man. I want to go and have fun. I've got a choice. If I get out of my head, I've got a choice. It's just, it's just rationalising it. That's, that's all it is. It's just like... Sensing Jordan wants to leave, the celebs rally round. You cannot quit. That's yeah, not man, life. I do things, and if I don't like them, I don't do them anymore. Sweetheart, you are going to run into trouble in your life where <laughs> you just have to put up with it. If I can see a reason for it, yeah. You have to surrender. This is not. Yo, this is not. No, your... that's not the right word. Yeah, surrender. No, no, no. Because yes, I don't need to surrender to something I don't want to surrender to. Surrender's not quitting. I've been on this journey with you, and it feels like I've been on a journey for a month with you, and I'd hate for you not to finish it with me. I like Jordan, and I think he feels a bit guilty that he's not helping out sometimes. But I'd be pretty gutted if he left. I don't know what to say. Just think about it, you know. I'm miserable, man. Absolutely miserable. And I'm sticking with it because apparently that's what you do. You stick with it. Good luck, darling. Oh, moment of truth. You hey boys, you just sit there, yeah? I'll go and get the fish. Now, more than ever, the group are pinning their hopes on the fish nets, which have been out at sea for 24 hours. How great would it be if we got some fish, man? Despite being weakened by yesterday's fall, Shazia's determined not to let the group down. Now Sharon's left, everybody's going to put that pressure on me. It's a huge pressure. I'm shit scared. I am so scared. Come on, Shazza. You can do it. This net could mean that we eat every day. I'm just hoping and praying that Shazia can come through because we got to eat. Oh, imagine if there was fish. She's found something. Is she? Oh, no. No fish. Completely empty. There's just nothing there. The failure of the nets, on which all hopes had rested, is a devastating blow to morale. No fish, guys, sorry. This is the fucking worst day of my life.
The latest bad news has brought Jordan to a decision. Tomorrow I'm going to make a move. Personal reasons only, really. I fucking actually love all of you guys, and I think we're doing really well. But, um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm out. But, like, but, yeah, love. We're dropping like flies. I love creating. I, I've got a lot to go back to. Right now I could be reading, learning. I could be learning. I'm learning stuff now, but I just don't want to be in that lesson. You know, it's so easy to, like, give up and just say, oh, my God, but you've got to hang in there. Yeah, you do. I want him to do what's best for him. But at the same time, it feels like a betrayal to some extent because we could use you here, bud. Bravo to Papa Base, over. It's Papa Base, over. Hi, this is Jordan. I'm just wondering if I could get myself some kind of Uber out of here. How'd you feel? I feel a bit relieved, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be... I'll be in touch. Bye. 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 Musician Jordan Stevens is leaving the island. Coconuts are your friends. He's the second celeb to quit in the last two days. Ugh. Au revoir. Bye. <laughs> That's the biggest smile I've seen on his face since I've met him. Bye. You're right, Melody. Oh, Melody. Come on. You wish it was you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Three people have left, and we can really begin to feel it now. Seven people doing the work. We're all slowing down, and we still have to somehow come up with productivity and results. Everyone, I'd just like to call a little meeting, please. With morale at rock bottom, once again, it's Ewan who attempts to rally the troops. OK. Today is the worst day, I think, for all of us. We're all going through it. I mean, Ryan, you're normally a machine. You're literally out on your ass today, mate. I love you all. It's a fucking brilliant team. Yeah. Yeah, we We're so good together. He's right. We've got to somehow find that energy. Come on, guys. Come on! Come on. Trust me, come on. We're at the back of it now, come on. Work, 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 work. Seriously, three seconds later. <laughs> Laying down. Three seconds later. I don't understand the pep talk and then... <sighs> it's comedy. It's like pure comedy. It was just a pep talk for everyone else. Like, OK, now, minions, do my thing. This isn't all about you. Like, we're not here for you, babe. Before she can check the nets again, Shazia must wait until the tide is out. I need bait off the red bucket. Meanwhile, she's persuaded Mark to go rod fishing. Come on, look at the activity of the sea there. Oh, my God, fish! Oh, fish for dinner tonight! All of a sudden, a massive shoal of fish appears just metres away. Fuck, fuck. This is manna from heaven, but they'll have to act fast. Sudden fizzing and flickering of the water. Mark! He's a really interesting... Oh, give me the fishing rod! I've got oh. this one. I've got this one. Oh, my God. Quick! It's all fish! Mark, get that net! Give me the rod! Hold the net! No more! Ah, just have the tow. There's loads of fish here. Put it on the surface and let them float in. Oh, my God, where are the fucking fish? The shoal has escaped before Shazia and Mark managed to catch a single one. What happened about the net? Did you catch anything? It was just the f too pain for my feet well, being... What cut. about over there? I haven't tried it yet. I'll have a go, or you, or you can have a go, cos you're better at it. But you know what? It's not good enough. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to just leave you doing it. I can't cope with this. Yeah, well, fair enough. I mean, I'll go in there. I'll, I'll go in there now. No, no problem. I'm not... Mark! Too much talking and not enough doing. Will you just shut up and go out there and get me some fucking dinner?
With not a scrap of food in camp, the celebs' fortunes now depend on the fishing net. Oh, pretend it's not happening. Oh. And once again, the group are relying on Shazia to make the gruelling swim to check them. My mouth's watering just thinking about fish. I know, me too. How nice would it be now to have, like, a big sea bath? Nothing there. Completely empty. No. Oh, no. No fish. No fish, no fish, no fish. No fish. No. We're in the situation where we're going to bed tonight without fish. Nobody has any energy at all, because they're all really, really hungry. I'm very anxious now. The group's condition is becoming desperate. This is unbelievable. The person I'm most worried about is Shazia because she's catatonic. I'm worried that she might have just been pushed that step too far. Um, she's going to kill herself back out. All right, my love, come on over. Dr. Sara calls Shazia for a medical check. All right, let's get blood done. Worried that her deterioration is becoming serious. Right, it's going to be a sharp prick. Oh, crikey. Shazia, your blood sugar was low. That can indicate starvation. Your brain isn't getting the food it needs. It is dangerous. Um, and so, actually, I think we all need to start looking after Shaz a bit more. My body is officially starving to death. You're all right. We're going to get you better. I feel like I've never felt in my life. I just feel like I'm about to die. There's nothing left of me. I don't think I can crack these open. I can't do it. I'll save my energy for the nets. She's doing too much. Shazia just needs to take a break. But we need to try and find food. Yeah. Bye, good luck. Yucca, pineapple. Exactly. Oh I hope we get it all. With Shazia confined to camp on doctor's orders... Yucca, normally near water source. Olympic sprinter Ewan heads out on a yucca hunt. <sighs> I'm knackered already. <sighs> I'm actually finding it hard to walk. <sighs> Just feel faint. Ah. <sighs> Being genuinely deprived of food is mega tough. It's tough physically and it's tough mentally. This really is a make or break moment for the celebs. Let's head back in. Ah. <sighs> Fucking annoying, isn't it? And I hate failing. Because I'm not only failing myself, I'm failing the team. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it. <sighs> no way. Carrot. Guys, I've got something. Woo! Don't ask me how, but I've just found a big carrot. What? A big carrot. A carrot? Yep. <laughs> oh. What are you going to say, like a pack of Jaffa cake? I thought it was going to be chocolate fudge cake. Sorry. People should be partying. Well, I'm happy with my little find. It's a carrot. Come on, guys. Carrot. Well, I thought people would be a bit more excited about my carrot. <laughs> you shouldn't have built it up so much. I didn't build it up so much. It's all we've got to eat and no one gives a shit. We're so ungrateful, aren't we? I thought you'd be excited. Maybe we'll get some broccoli at midday and a parsnip at four o'clock. That's it, we'll be done for the day. <laughs> Going to bed with no dinner. 
What are we going to do to survive? What are we going to eat? If we can't get this net working, we are buggered. God, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Look after yourself, dude. We need you. <laughs> please, 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 please be safe. Against Dr. Sara's advice, Shazia swims out to check the nets one last time. Jesus. If the net thing doesn't work, what are we going to do? I need food. I feel really, I feel alive. Three more fish. It's massive. A massive tuna. Whoa. I love tuna. There's loads more. There's loads more. Six fish. This is fishing history in the making. I'm not even halfway through the net yet. I'm so excited. Wow, Shaz, amazing. Ten fish here. Look at the size of this. Oh. It's going to be a great day. You are a legend. We love you. Thank you. The true heroes of survival often aren't the ones who bag the big game. They return to camp covered in glory. No. The real heroes are actually the ones who fail. They fail again, but they never give up. And little by little, they're giving the group a modest but constant supply of food. Unbelievable. Last night we went to bed with no fish, so I was like, oh my God, please God, let us have fish today. Amazing. There's so much for everyone as well. Like being a real person. <laughs> That's really lovely. <laughs> People have always underestimated me as an Asian woman, as a Muslim woman. I've always been underestimated. There was always a limit to what I should achieve. And now I don't feel there is that line anymore. There is that limit anymore. I feel like I can surpass that. I can, if I want to be a fisherwoman, I'll be a fisherwoman. If I want to bring home 14 fish every morning, I'll do that. And nobody's going to tell me that I can't do that. <laughs> well done. Smell. Come here. Yes! I love you so much! Next time on the island. Rebel, get up! Oh, shit. This fire goes out. We've had it. It's all over. So sick of this group dynamics. Listen, I'm an adult. I'm grown. I don't have to keep doing this. <laughs> I just need food, and I'm not going to stop until I find it. <laughs> Mark, just like a zombie. Huh? Yeah, it just really hurt. Look, I'm dying. Doc, it's too late. Hurry up! Hurry up! In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down, perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Grand history, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyles. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I've abandoned 10 celebrities. Yeah! On a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're living like pigs. With a handful of basic tools. And fishing equipment. This is Lord of the Flies. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. Don't stuff the camera in my face. They've been left completely alone. What's that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Filming everything themselves. Look at that! Look at his ass! Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. 
We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted. You know, that is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Just Get in! Oh, men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside. Ewan is acting like a psychopath. Oh, Will they have the courage? Oh, it won't work. It won't work. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. And determination to survive. And if you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. Ah! I'm beginning to freak out a bit. We're all going to die out here. Say goodbye to civilization, guys. Since I abandoned them two and a half weeks ago, Come on, team. under Ewan's leadership, We've jackpotted it. The group endured extremes of dehydration. Do you know what? Honestly, I'd pay £1,000 for like a cold bottle of water now. I'd pay a grand. Easy. And starvation. I'm on my last leg. Will you just shut up and go out there and get me some dinner? Lashed by a series of tropical storms. <laughs> I just can't do this every night. I'm soaked all the way through. Three celebs crumble and quit the island. It's sending people into a war zone without a gun. With all hopes of food depending on the fish nets. If the net thing doesn't work, what are we going to do? Comedian Shazia Mirza fish. turned the group's fortunes around. Ah, a massive tuna! Unbelievable. But not for long. The most important thing is the fishing nets. No fish, no fish, no fish. And in the past 24 hours, it's gone haywire. God, I'm being bitten to death. I can't stand it. The celebs have now been living on the island for 18 days. Everything's so itchy. Without a decent shelter or raised beds, they have no protection from the jungle critters. Last night, the itching was driving me round the bend. I was getting bitten at such a rate that the pain was racing around my body like electrical current. And then, of course, the hands are pretty much obscured altogether. So there's no sleep possible. They just kill you. Every morning, every evening, I'm being bitten to death. It's like torture. A good shelter really is a basic priority in any society. And you've got to have a roof to keep the rain out, beds raised off the floor to insulate and also to protect from creepy crawlies. Without these essentials, it's impossible for the celebs to get the rest and recuperation that's critical for survival. I'm not sleeping on the floor tonight. Not one fucking night. I don't want to. Don't need to. Don't need to, baby. All right? Yeah. We need someone with a machete to start getting palm leaves. Even though they haven't eaten in two days, Olympian Ewan is leading a group effort to build a communal raised bed. OK, let's get some bamboo over. All right, everyone, everyone. Just a team effort. But pussycat doll Melody has decided to go it alone. I'm making my own bed because it's really hard to work in a group and to compromise when someone says, I think we should do it this way. And I feel very strongly that it would be faster to do it this way. But I've been missing. Is that cool? That was perfect. My name is Melody Thornton, and I am best known for my involvement in the Pussycat Dolls. It was the toughest job I've had to date because I was the only teenager. I had no experience in the industry. And there are sharks in the water there. There are wolves in sheep's clothing there. <laughs> so I think generally, I'm a survivor in my mind. I was in the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> that was an extreme environment. <laughs> Can I have a chat with you? I think um, Ewan's quite keen to try and pull all of our knowledge together and try and build one for everyone. OK, great. So, are you up for it? Um, do you, you know wanna... what? I'm going to focus on this, because every time we do what he wants, then it's like we just end up sleeping on the ground. That's I know cool. I seem like not a team player. No, no. But I'm an I adult, just wanna... yeah. and I don't have to sleep on the ground. No, you can do whatever you I like. I don't. No, nope, you're absolutely right. He's just trying to beat me to material on the fucking beach, because he's a fucking asshole. I'm kind of done with being dictated by someone else. That tonight, here's what we're doing. Play this deck in place. So I'm not doing it for everybody because I can't be worried about everybody.
Yeah. Other way, other way, other way. Right the way round, yeah, that's it. I'll chop that off, don't worry. Yeah, I'm goosed. My energy levels are absolutely shocking today. Fuck the beds, fuck everything. Just let's get some food down us. After two hours of back-breaking work on the beds, the celebs ran out of steam. Uh, we need to eat and we need to eat soon. Bloody hell, Shazia. This is something else. I know what we've got with priorities around here, water and bedding and stuff, but I just need some food, man. This, this camp needs feeding. With the group fading fast, Ryan volunteers to lead a hunting party. Bye, Ryan. No getting your ass out now. You don't want to scare the neighbours and the kids. Promise. Ryan, just before you go, remember how hard you've fought in your bloody career. You were in Coronation Street, for Christ's sake. Mecklenburg, you have a million Twitter followers. Thomas, you are the fastest man ever to run 400 metres in the United Kingdom. Everyone here I am in awe of. You're a doctor, for Christ's sake. I know, this hand has seen a lot of asses. Exactly I'm... what I'm talking about. Everybody here has done things that are worse than this. Come on, everyone. We can do this. Ready? Let's go. Right, see you in a few hours. Bye, guys. I wasn't planning to do that, but I just look at these people and I see despair saying, and I think, nah, not yet. Don't be late home, guys. Yeah. Let's find us some yucca. Yeah, I was standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. While the others head into the jungle, Melody chooses to stay behind and work on her bed. I'm really happy by myself because I've worked in a group before. It's not, it's not easy, it's really hard. And even in my real life, I have very few friends. Some people respond to the shock of a survival situation by turning away from the group and going into themselves. But being isolated in this sort of environment can be very dangerous. And sooner or later, you will need the help of others if you're going to survive there. Come on, yucca, yucca, yucca. So I'm sure I saw a massive yucca tree back there, but they don't grow big, do they? I've ensured the island has enough vegetation and indigenous animals throughout to keep them alive, but only if they have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. What's this? I found yucca. Um, no, fuck. Sorry, I haven't. Ow. Fuck you. Mm. Anyone got any bright ideas? No joy. Looked everywhere. Three hours later, the hunting party returns to camp. The world's longest yakka hunt, and it was unsuccessful, so I'm feeling a bit deflated. It's so depressing, isn't it, when you go out for ages looking, just wanting to bring something back for everyone. And... Disappointing. So no dinner tonight, no? Sorry. Get a bit fed up today, if I'm honest. Having stayed behind, Melody's had a more productive afternoon. There's lots of roots in here. She's very good at building, and basically she should use her skills to help the team. But instead, she'll use all her energy and all her wood for herself, and I think that's so selfish. Please love me too. Melody, no point having two teams. Let's go with you. Is there enough room for all of us where no, you're building? There's not enough room for all of us. What, half and half, probably? No, no, that's a much smaller space, and your space is a lot clearer. Yeah, but... Listen, I just... I'm an adult. I'm grown. I don't have to keep doing this. You know you what I mean? I can want. take my destiny into my own hands. But we have to keep as a team. Doing... But we're not anyway. That's bad, then. Hey, what do you want me to do? OK, you do what you've got to do, then. The thing is, it's not a competition. I'm just not sleeping on the fucking ground I again. I agree with you. None of us want I'm it. not sleeping on the ground again. You can't have that approach on the island. You have to try and help your fellow man, your fellow woman, because if you're only looking out for yourself, at the end of the day, that's going to rub people up. Mark, we need to get these fish nets going. Yes, all right, let's do it. Like now, all we're right. so hungry. I'm ready. With zero food in camp, Shazia recruits comedian Mark to help reposition the nets. 
So, Mark, what we're going to do is we're going to move the nets because they're, yeah. at the moment they're too close to the beach yeah, we got that. to get maximum fish uh, income for us, maximum right? Maximum fish income, yeah. MFI. And then when you've cut up these tiny bits of foil into thousands of pieces, yeah. you're going to chuck them into the net to attract fish yeah. to the net to trap them. If yeah? I'm a fish, I'd be yeah. straight, I'd be all over that. I'm an author and comedian. What? Yeah! I initially became well known for a series of 24 hour long comedy shows. Always leave them wanting more. That's what my uncle used to say leave them wanting more. That's how he lost his job in disaster relief. <laughs> but it does I've got two young children. The elder one, the boy, is seven. Ah! He's at the sort of age where he's in real need of a convincing male role model. What do you think it's going to be like on the island? There's going to be wasps. Yeah, wasps, spiders, snakes. My kids definitely don't think that I can do anything. They've seen me fail to do all sorts of stuff. Wow, is that right? No. It's crucial that I don't quit this because I don't want to remember it as an experience where I took it on um, and failed. <laughs> Shazia and Mark have now been treading water for nearly half an hour. It's not easy doing this with the diminished energy that we have. It's going a bit wonky. Uh, yeah. Mark is not an alpha male. He's kind of an ethereal, intelligent, intellectual. He's more of a thinker than a doer with his hands. This is how it works. It's very hard to see somebody struggling like that. Are you okay, Mark? It was quite a long swim and a lot of um, shedding water, but it would have been fine, ironically, if we had fish in our bellies. As it is, without food, it's surprisingly hard to swim, uh, even stay afloat for that long. I'm hungry, I'm tired, but I'm fighting. I'm giving it a good old fight. The flies are out big time today, aren't they? Bites all on my legs, itching everywhere. You okay, Mark? You had a bad day today, mate. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done here. Yeah. Mark? Oh, Mark. shit. Oh, my God. Mark, you okay, mate, yeah? I know, feet feel heavy. I got you, boy. Come and lie down for a bit. That's Everything's amazing. a struggle, isn't it? Just walking. I'm dizzy, though, yeah. Come on, mate. Put your arm around me if it helps. No. Come on. Let fat boy take your weight. <laughs> I got, I got, right, let's oh, just sit down where we are, yeah? Can you get me one of them bags to sit on, please, guys? Oh, God. OK, come on, let's get you into camp. It's just torture. People are literally dropping every day. Someone else is more and more tired. Celebs have been woken by noises in the jungle. There's somewhere. It's definitely turkeys. It's now three days since a group has eaten a proper meal. 100% turkeys. If they can catch it, a turkey would provide them with a desperately needed calories. Definitely gone. Nothing. They've gone underground. What? They're very clever. When I say underground, I don't mean underground. They're, just, they're hiding. They heard us and they just stopped talking. They're clever animals. We're going to have to use our brains a little bit. We can't just run after them. The celebs head back to camp, empty-handed. It's really frustrating because I think that's the morale boost we need at the camp. If we had a big turkey. Be lovely. That would be great. Like I go to bed hungry and I wake in the middle of the night with stomach cramps, and the first thing I think about after my dreams of food is food. Absolutely starving. 
What else can I eat? Oh. I'm not gonna eat these leaves. All right, I can do this. Mark is struggling to recover from his collapse. For him, lack of food isn't the only issue. The nights are so cruel. I seem to be incapable of sleeping it. I've worked out I'm averaging less than an hour a day. It goes dark at seven, so it's 10 hours of darkness. And several nights now, I've waded through those 10 hours on my feet, because every time you lie down, it's just agony with the bugs. The experience is utterly brutal. Uh, yesterday, I saw him up there, right, and he was just looking at the rocks for, like, 10 minutes, standing there like Blair Witch. I can't keep watching him like he is, pacing up and down like a madman. I can't watch it. It's just so sad. In all the years that I've known him, I've never known him like he is here. Sleep really is critical to survival because it affects both our physical and our mental health. Sleep deprivation is a form of mental torture. Eventually, it will become unbearable and you will start to completely unravel. Once again, all the celebs have had to eat for breakfast is some coconut. Say, it's not making any headway. Jesus Christ, people. Mark, what's happened about that coconut? Well, I'm just fucking shit at it. You know I'm fucking shit at it. I'll fucking hack my arm off. Who gives a fuck? If I get off this island quicker because I've severed a limb, I'll be fucking delighted. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. I just find it so hard. Amazing. What I don't want to be is somebody who contributes less to the group than they're taking out. Otherwise, it's possible I'll just be a passenger. And I do not want to be finishing this thing. But people are saying, why is he here? What does he really do? It was fun at first, but, you know, that plays on my mind a bit. My feet hurt. Too tired to leave camp, Mark puts himself on light duties for the day. I've fallen over loads of times today. I can hardly remember whether I am Mark Watts nor Beyonce. But I can guess, because I don't think she'd be doing this. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm a survivor and keep on surviving. We need to eat. In the jungle, Ewan is leading another hunt for food. I can't sit still when I hear animals in the woods. While on the beach... What is that? Oh, I could use this. Melody is scavenging for materials to finish off her new raised bed. Oh, my gosh! I am just a treasure hunter. And I'm happy about it. I think sometimes it seems like I'm antisocial, but I am just trying to do what's best for me. I think everyone should have a little section and things that are there so that it's like home. To give herself some privacy, Melody has built her bed 20 feet away from the main camp. Come this way. This here. This is where the magic happens. All of this. This bed. This is an air mattress that I found on the beach. Got a little hole in it, but boom. And we are rainproof. And this is a fire that I keep going aside from our communal fire. So, isn't that magical? Mel just likes her own space. I think that's what it is. But separation is never a good thing, I don't think. I know people are making comments about me not wanting to share or whatever. No, if I find a fucking blow up bed, it's mine. Everybody's talking about Melody, but nobody's saying anything. She got that massive, bloody inflatable mattress. Six of us could keep drawing that on the floor, and she got it for herself. I just don't see how her setting up her own bed alone can do anything but alienate her from the rest of the group. It's meant to be a team. It's weird, because she grafts so hard, and I respect her for that. For herself. Yeah. You have to show your bloody face. Where the hell are you? Late afternoon, and the hunting party heads back to camp 
empty-handed. We've come back. We need a coconut, another failed yucca trip, another failed hen trip. We're not feeling great. He's done nothing, has he? While the others have spent the day working, Mark's been getting some much-needed rest. Mark's a fantastic character to have in, in the camp. But he's just not doing anything, which is very annoying. I haven't had a nap in the daytime once. Of course, I feel for Mark, but I'm like, stop fucking sleeping in the day. Stop it. Despite their differences, the celebs agree that Mark is becoming a burden. Go down the fucking beach, get bottles, fill them with water, stay on fire. Do that all day. Knock yourself out yeah, so you're exactly. literally like that. Yeah, Which is how night. I feel most nights. Yeah. Stay awake. I think we're being too sensitive with Mark, me personally. I'm sorry if I'm mean, I don't care. You know what? Shit happens and you have to look after people. Yeah. But a really shit, harsh point of view, what is he doing for the team? With nothing but slithers of coconut for dinner, comedian Shazia tries to boost the celebs' morale. Melody, are you going back to your own home, which you built yourself over there? <laughs> yes. We're all under here, getting pissed to death every night. Melody's got her own home. Burning her own fire, drying her own clothes, eating her own food, stealing the fucking water. <laughs> oh, this is edgy. This is really edgy. I'm surprised you haven't eaten that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go lay down. While Melody heads off to sleep in a new bed, the others face yet another night on the jungle floor. I normally live four hours sleep, but you can't get four minutes in this fucking purgatorial shit hole. Oh my god, this, this is properly hard. It is. Storm coming our way. It's gonna get wet any second now. Fire's gonna go out soon. Shit. It's down to the last couple of embers at the moment. You get some dry leaves. You have to help keep these fire going now, but we're gonna get a big storm. It comes the rain. Everyone, get up! Get up! This fire goes out with foot! Oh, for fuck's sake. We need to keep it alight. We just need more dry leaves. Guys, I need a bit of help here. We need another pair of hands. As a tropical storm batters the island, the celebs need all hands on deck to save the fire. Get Melody. Help! Melody! Melody! We need some help. We need you, Melody. She's not waking up. She's not waking up. This is unbelievable. Where's the white bucket, guys? Need it now, guys. I'm really pissed off. This fire goes out, we've had it, it's, it's all over. Melody! No. Melody! Oh my god. The storm started about quarter to one, and it's now around seven o'clock. This has been pretty much our night. Trooper. It's about loose, aren't you, eh? The celebs have been up all night, saving their fire from a torrential downpour. Oh, wow, look at your hands, man. Our skin's basically rotting. Oh, there she is. Having spent the night under an air mattress on her new bed, Melody wasn't there to help. Mel, how are you? I'm OK. How are you? Wet, cold? Same. You look nice and dry. Hmm? You look lovely and dry. I'm not dry. I'm soaked. Were you calling me? Yeah. OK, because every time I said, should I come out, no one said anything. I already couldn't okay. hear you, babe. Well, I couldn't hear you either in there. Oh, I thought you saw You just lifted up and saw us all. And, I thought, mm -mm. Yeah. and then when I came out and was coming in, Someone's like, don't come in here, it's full of puddles. I'm like, so don't come in. No, I said to you, I said to you, there's puddles everywhere, don't try and avoid them. They're everywhere. Oh. That's what I meant, babe. 
I'm in the same boat as y'all, though. I didn't sleep. I was just under there getting pounded. In the ass. <clears throat> I had no idea that people were standing there that long. And I just feel really criminal. I feel really bad about it. It's one of those things you didn't even know you were doing wrong. And that is one of the reasons why I am so sick of this group dynamic. I'm trying to do right by everybody. Can't be perfect. You guys, I just want to say I'm really, really sorry if, um, I, if you feel like I didn't, if I, you feel like I deliberately stayed under that thing all night. Now I feel horrible, but I can do whatever you need me to do today. And Thank you, Mel. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. A few people were disappointed that she didn't get out of her bed last night when it was hurricaning, but she got the vibe that we were all annoyed with her and she apologised to the group. And that's the best thing you can do, you know. Like, I feel like everybody else has settled in. It's lonely, it's fucking stinky, it's shitty. I'm listening to people's bullshit, trying not to say anything because it's not my business, but people say things to you and you're like, shut the fuck up. And every time I'm in the woods just chopping down some trees, Melody, I'm like, I can't even get away from you, look fucking the woods! <laughs> I'll be right there! Calmly. I'm not calm, I'm fucking pissed. I wanna like eat and fucking fuck. I wanna shit. <laughs> I wanna fucking drink water out of a bottle. People live like this every yeah. single day. There's a million people that use food banks in Britain. They're starving. Yeah. God. So just shut the fuck up, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> in order to survive in an environment as harsh as this, you can't do it on your own. Being stuck in your ways just won't work here. You've got to be adaptable, and above all, you've got to work with your team. All right, yeah. stick in there. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. OK. All right. I think Mel's misunderstood sometimes. I feel her pain. Sometimes don't agree with the way she approaches things, but that's our Mel. And no one's going to change her. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Ryan gives the best hugs ever. <laughs> in the past, working in groups, I have always said to myself, don't be close to them, don't open up to them. Um, you know, keep your heart, protect your heart. And I think I'm gonna try and open up more moving forward. After days of insomnia, Mark is a no-fit state to help Shazia check the nets. Shazia's the terror of the ocean. Is that her name? What's her name? My brain isn't working. The name Shazia doesn't sound... But it is a name, isn't it? I've never felt anything like this. The difficulty level's gone up again when you haven't eaten for three days. The insomnia. 10 times worse. I'm seeing double and I can't get to the end of sentences. I can't remember people's names. I... I've had less than two nights sleep since we got here. You can't win. The island has all the cards. I mean, now there's like 14, 15 flies around me. Just You can't, you go in the water, they come, they come when you're out of it, they... I mean, they're everywhere. They're everywhere on your body all the time. And there's sand everywhere in your body. And I washed it off. I wash and wash and wash. I just, I just don't have a lot left now. I, I, I just, I just don't have a lot left. I, I mean, I just. So you are 75 and you came here 82. 
So you have lost the most so far. Concerned for Mark's well-being, the group's doctor, Sarah, gives them a medical check. Mark looks a bit like a, a, a ghost, really. I worry that he's going to start being quite unwell soon. Like, honestly, I know what it feels like not to sleep for a couple of days, and this has been a couple of weeks. Yeah. If, if it carries on like this, I can imagine being slightly traumatised by it. I want to go home and stuff, but I, I'm, I'm not that keen to leave. At a certain point, those who aren't pulling their weight, even through no fault of their own, are going to become a huge drag on the group. And when you're struggling to survive yourself, this presents a tough moral dilemma. Do you go on helping them, or do you do what you have to do to survive? All right, Sarah. All right, my love. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. I think it was with Mark. I just thought he was lazy, but I'm just worried about him. It's very hard to sort of take care of him when you sort of have to take care of yourself as well. It's not being selfish. It's just you can only give so much energy to any one person in here anyway because you're literally running on nothing here. He doesn't look well. He thinks he's all right, but the honest truth is, I think he's trying to stick it out because he wants to show his kids he's a strong dad. I think these sandflies are stopping him sleeping, maybe. Yeah, there's a lack of the sleep. Camp, seeing if we can do without the sandflies. If he gets good night's sleep, yeah. game on. Seeing him like I have the last few days, he's been tough. But I'm keeping a close eye on him because I fucking love him. He's just a kind-hearted, beautiful soul and got so much to give, makes you feel good about yourself. OK. So what have we got to say now? What are we taking? Did you tie up those? Yep. That one? OK, there's two. Do we want to do one more? Having made a bed for herself, Melody recruits Ryan to help make one for Mark. Mark is definitely a concern for me. He hasn't really slept all month, and that sucks. So getting Mark sleeping, I think, is going to be so vital. So far, so good. It just really hurts. In camp, there's a worrying development. Doc! Mark's suffering from chest pains. Oh, Christ, it hurts so much. Doc! Hurry up! Hurry up! I'm dying. It just really hurts. Oh. Sarah? Sarah? It's too late. Up here, please. Wow. Deep breath in and out for me. Dr. Sarah is performing emergency checks on Mark after the sudden onset of chest pains. It doesn't sound cardiac in nature because there's no kind of breathing problems, there's no nausea, clamminess, sweating, there's no radiation of the pain to the arm, jaw, or anything like that. Um, and it's, it's not... Mid, sorry, it's moved across here a bit. Into uh, the middle bit. Here, yeah, but nothing else. Fine. Anything. Poor old Mark has had some chest pain. I don't think there's anything wrong with his heart or his lungs. I think it's anxiety, and I'm worried that he's kind of getting more anxious about it, and that's making it a bit worse. Oh. I would do anything to go home now, except somehow there's a tiny bit of me that's still stubborn enough to think, all right, I can do this, or, or to think you mustn't leave, or something, something stopping me from just giving in. I think we should have an intervention. Do you think so? Although Mark's determined to stay, his fellow celebs are having serious doubts about his future on the island. What do you think, Shad? It's a shock to me that he's like this. But I don't think he will go. I think he should go, though. I'm worried for when he gets back. It's not about here, it's about his sanity. That's the thing. It's like none of us want him to leave because we don't like him. We love him to bits. That's, that's, that's why, why we want him to go, because we're worried about it. Should we go have a cup of tea and have a little? Let's have a cup of tea and that, mate. As one of Mark's closest friends on the island, Ryan has been given the job of persuading him. To leave. Got any biscuits to go with tea, what? I don't believe we've got any biscuits for the same reason as we've not had any biscuits the last three weeks. We've got to check the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be sit down. Yeah, it's cool, there. Mark, 
I can guarantee you, mate, there's a lot of love in here for you. And we feel like, you know, enough is enough. You've persevered in a way where you've tortured yourself with them sandflies on a different level, stopped yourself from sleeping. I, just, I, I don't want to go home now. I think for you, I feel as if you've got to the end. Love you so much, bro. You too, pal. So much. Hello. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Mark here. Um, just calling to say that I think I probably should leave the, the island. I'm hoping that this doesn't look like a kind of casual decision because I, uh, I've absolutely given it everything. I feel really disappointed and sad, but I also feel that it's right. I didn't ever want to leave before the end because I feel like I'm sort of quitting and, you know, letting people down a bit. Hey, mate, there's no quitting. Only pride for you. Only pride for you, mate. You've done so Amazing. good. I think Mark's been the biggest blow so far for me. And, uh... He's just a loving, caring, kind soul, and he really wanted to finish this. Me too. But where I'm standing, he has finished it. I'm hoping that I will be a more positive role model for my children as a result of this. And whatever people might think, I don't feel like it's a failure. I feel like I've battled to the absolute last 0.1% of my capacities. Bye, everyone. Bye, Mark. I will never again be so negative about what I'm capable of. I'm really proud of Mark and allowing himself the grace to leave before it all got too much for him. He lost part of his soul to this island. We love you, Mark! Bye! Bye, Mark! Bye, guys. He's gone above and beyond where oh he should God, have I gone. So sad. I thought he was going to make it to the end. He didn't want to go. He really didn't want to go. I was upset. It is upsetting, dear. Yeah. It's always upsetting when someone leaves. I think so often people assume that the island is this physical battle, but actually the battle to survive is always won in here and in here. And every man or woman has their breaking point, and I think Mark probably reached his, and I'm respectful of that. There he's gone. We started with ten, we've now got six. Oh, it's a shame. We're all good, come on. Hug it in. There's only two men left. Well, we think they're men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Time will tell. Pineapple will be nice. Oh. Sounds like a plan. And the boar. Determined to break the famine and revive their teammates, the two remaining men head out to find food. It's got all this stuff around here, mate. I've got a good feeling. I don't think we all realise this is the hardest thing anyone could ever do. This is harder than prison. Prison, you get fed three times a day, you have a bed, you have a TV. We don't have any of that. I mean, trust me, this is fucking hard, but this has not ah. been harder than the Puss Cat Dolls. Oh, my God. And that's, and that's me being 100% honest, I'm serious. Really? Yeah. Because the dolls was like anxiety, you're watching your back, this, there's this like level of mistrust, you know? This is definitely harder than comedy. Comedy, like, if it's going badly, you can get off in 10 minutes. Yeah. If this is going badly, you've still got 27 days to go. Yeah. It's like, fuck me, God, this is a long gig, man. What's up? Brian! Brian! Here. Here. Ewan and Ryan have now been searching the jungle for two hours. Just by that tree. Oh, shit, 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 Good 
blood. Oh, God! You've killed it, mate. You've killed it. It's dead. Oh, God! Just jump like that. It's dead, mate. It's dead. Are you OK? Are you OK, mate? Oh, that was horrible, mate. I know, mate. I know, oh, that was I know, horrible. Mate. I know, Don't look. Are you OK? Oh, I feel like I'm sick, mate. Well, it's done now. Well done. I pulled it, it and I twisted yeah, it. That's exactly. It wasn't in pain. Don't worry, you did it. I swear to you now, I would not do this if I wasn't hungry. Don't worry, mate. We had to do it. Let's get him out of here. No way. See how happy they are? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. What is that? What is it? That's a turkey. Oh. <laughs> Chicken. Turkey. Christmas Chicken. dinner. Chicken Woo. chip. Yeah. Christmas dinner. It wasn't nice. Ryan killed it. And it's not a nice experience for Ryan. It's a shock, that's all, because I've just never done anything like before. Don't worry, you did the right thing. You did how you're supposed to do it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Don't be sad. Now well, we need to figure out how to cook this thing. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want me to do it? No, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Despite oh, his traumatic experience, Ryan volunteers to gut the turkey. Oh, God. It's OK, you're doing OK. Is this all right, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, well shit! Well, that all the race up there as well, yeah. Fucking hell! Oh, yeah, but you've got to get some of the butt top and back. These are. There's gizzards in there, you've okay. you got to get out. That's the gizzard. Oh, Ryan, how fine! How many fish do you reckon you've got in since you've been in? Oh, about 40. We've got in a caiman. A, a caiman? Basically. Uh. I don't think we made any sound effects like that. <laughs> I'd love them to see him in my anatomy classes at uni. <sighs> Babe, your face. Like he's crying. I'm sorry, it's... but it was hilarious. I think everyone else would be laughing at me as well, but what can I do? You were quite funny, didn't you? But listen, Luce, <laughs> men are wimps, aren't they? They are <laughs> such wimps. In normal life, we learn to suppress many of the sort of primitive urges. It's what makes us civilised people. But in a survival situation, You've got to find a way to tap into that primal instinct, to unleash a bit of that inner savage, but at the same time, not lose sight of your humanity. Ryan and his two wives. Love and laugh. <laughs> not a killer, and I would never want to kill an animal, but I didn't want to let everyone down. This is the family we need to provide for, and we need to eat, so... Ewan and Ryan have provided the celebs with their first proper meal in three days. Woo! Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, the turkey is amazing. Oh, my God. I got the brown meat as well. Oh, mm. I know it pains you, but it was worth it, mate. Well worth it. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Ewan and Ryan, for getting the turkey. So yes, yeah, incredible. For getting the turkey. So good. Go on, Tarzan! Woo! The turkey meal has done wonders for the celebs' morale. Things are looking up. And following Mark's departure, there's even a new bed up for grabs, courtesy of Melody. It looks uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? But it's actually really comfortable. Yeah. If this was a shop, I would say it gets a 10-year guarantee because it can take fatty. You'd have made, yeah. it, you'd have made a very good builder in the UK. Oh, good. I'm glad. I think I was totally wrong about Melody. She is only slight, but her work ethic is amazing. She's not only a grafter for herself, she's working hard for the team, and she's turning into one of my favourite campmates. This is the best day today ever. Let's I like that we're a smaller group, not in a mean way, but like, it's, I don't know, we're just getting a bit closer. It's more, than, manageable. It's more, it's more manageable. manageable. Everyone's got their little roles. All these people are like a new family. We are a tribe and we work together and we come together and we eat together and laugh together, talk about things, and I feel very blessed. We know that we're near the end now and we're just going to take what comes to us and I feel like that's, that's, that's what our journey's going to be like to the end now. We're going to be smiling and we're going to get through this with, with ease. Next time on the island. What the hell was that? Got the fucking Blair Witch. Hello! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! We're gonna die.
They are the world's biggest cutie pies. It is impossible to get up out here, isn't it? You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to starve anyway, let the fire go out. Who gives a fuck? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down. Perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Grand Street, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyle. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I've abandoned 10 celebrities. No! on a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're living like pigs. With a handful of basic tools oh. and fishing equipment. This is Lord of the Flies. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. No, stop the camera in my face. They've been left completely alone. Look what's up. Filming everything themselves. Look at that! Look at his ass! Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted. You know that is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Get in! Oh, Men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside. Ewan is acting like a psychopath. Oh, fuck. Will they have the courage? <laughs> it won't work. It won't work. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. And determination to survive. And if you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. Ah! I begin to freak out a bit. We're all going to die out here. Okay, let's go. Give me a machete. Come on, team. When I abandoned the group three weeks ago... I wonder what the local restaurant's like. ..under Ewan's leadership... Come back to us! ..the group's alpha males took control. We haven't done anything wrong. Ryan, please, I'm in hell! But their efforts to make fire and build shelter... <laughs> ..ended in failure. I am so sick of this group dynamics. Listen, I'm an adult. I'm grown. I don't have to keep doing this. Pushed to the edge. Coconuts are your friend. Four of the celebs quit the island. You can't win. The island has all the cards. Ha. Mark. Ush. After enduring starvation, <laughs> Ryan's turkey kill provided oh. a brief hit of calories. <laughs> but the islanders are once again running on empty. Starvation is becoming painful now. It's a real game changer. We've got a pussycat doll over there. <laughs> Lucy's a big model back home, you know what you know, I don't you? Awesome. <laughs> the celebs have now been living on a near starvation diet for more than three weeks. You could eat that. So as you could put it on the fire and eat that. Good protein that. We need food so bad. I mean, it's back to day one. We're all really hungry. Like, no energy at all. So, thank you for, for coming to my clinic today. Concerned about the group's decline, Dr. Sara is carrying out medical checks. Uh, 84. Off, so he's off, gone from... 12, 12 kilograms. Two stone. Two stone. 
This is the same weight I was when I was like 23 years old. 52. I was 60 when I came you were. now I'm 52. So you lost eight in total. I've lost five inches. I've gone down to a 23 inch waist, which I don't think I've ever been a 23 inch waist since I was a kid. 51. Between them, the six remaining celebs have now shed almost nine stone. If we carry on the same amount we do for this last week, for me, that would be like two and a half stone. When does it become dangerous? It's already dangerous. You don't feel like the man you, you usually are, and that is because all of your organs are saying, what the hell is going on? I just don't want to see any of us losing weight at the rate that we're losing it. OK? Thank you, Doc. Thank you. OK. After three weeks on such an extreme low-calorie diet, the group are actually in danger of entering what's called autophagy. And this literally means to self-eat. Their bodies start to cannibalise themselves, and if they don't find a sustainable food source, their physical condition won't just be in decline, it will be a complete freefall. I feel so weak. It's crazy. It's crazy isn't it? With five days to go, the group are desperately in need of something substantial to eat. If we don't find food, we can't survive here on the island. It's as simple as that. I'm on my last legs, you know? Yeah. But Melody and Ryan, two of the group's hardest workers, are unable to join the expedition. Hopefully they bring something back which will ignite, ignite us. Is that the word? Ignite us, yeah. I see, I can't put my words together anymore. I'm not in good shape today. I've got diarrhea. It's pretty bad. And it's hard to focus on anything else aside from, like, keep your butt cheeks together. <laughs> oh, you're joking me. Being hungry like this, starving <sighs> to the point where you feel like you could throw up, but there's nothing in you to throw up, it's extreme pain. It's like from rib to rib. Three hours later, Ewan's party returns to camp. Not a carrot. Fight amongst yourselves. Diddy! Oh. You don't like him? <laughs> it's like Father Christmas, but nobody likes your presents. You lot are so ungrateful. One day I'll come back with a chocolate bar or something. Group needs to eat, and I really wanted to come back with something. And I just feel crap. And I do feel a pressure that I think people look at me and think, yeah, he's a big, strong guy. If anyone can get food, perhaps he can. And when you fail, you just feel terrible. Where's you in? I have no idea. I haven't told the others where I'm going. I'm just desperate to bring something back. All we need to do is just be careful, communicate with each other. Yep. With the food situation critical, Ewan and cameraman Andy... This is exciting. ..are taking desperate measures. Can you see the opening yet? They're heading out on a crocodile hunt. We're going into the mangroves, which is where the caiman live. I won't lie, I am quite scared. I've got a flimsy stick with me and a knife in my pocket, and that's it. But as the more caiman are out here, I'm happy to give it a go. I, I must admit I needed a bit of an adventure because um, today's been horrendous. Heading into the jungle at night is a reckless gamble. You are! We've lost you in an Andy. You are! Andy! And Ewan and Andy haven't told the others what they're doing. Where the hell have they gone? Oh, it's so dangerous. Andy! Yes! These people are idiots. We're now entering the mangroves. Ow! Ah, yeah, yeah, be careful, mate. That's one of them horrible prickly ones. I'm all of a sudden a bit nervous. 
the hell was that? The fuck? It sounded like a laugh, but it can't be a laugh. What the hell is that? Are you winding me up? No, 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 no. You'll take the piss again. No, mate, I promise you. Dude, I, I actually don't know what that is. On my life. No, you, 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 I'm not even joking now. There's like heavy breathing coming over there and some weird noise from over there and I'm really scared now. If there's anyone out there, I've got a shotgun and a black belt in Taekwondo. An hour into Ewan's trek, a massive electrical storm hits the island. Oh, God. Absolute madness. With no way of contacting Kemp, Ewan and Andy are now in serious trouble. I'm actually quite worried about them. I'm really, really worried about them. It's probably waterlogged where they are. We don't know if they have torches or any form of communication. I'm just scared they're going to cross that swamp, and that swamp will be absolutely waterlogged right now. Ewan! Ewan! Andy! We've got to get safe. It's so cold, so wet. We need to get back to camp and get near a fire. Yeah, OK. Which way am I going, mate? I don't know. I can see the big beach just there. No, mate, we've just come from this direction. No, we haven't. We have. How the hell did that happen? Mate, this is fucked up. I don't know what to do, mate. I'm getting worried now. I'm totally confused. We've been out here two hours, lost. I have got no idea where we are. Shit. We can't wander around lost all night. It's like the fucking Blair Witch. We better start shouting for help. Hello! Guys, hello! Hey, we might just be walking in circles, mate. Fucking hell. No, we're back into the fucking thing! You're joking. No, mate! Ow. It's fucking getting deeper and fucking deeper. Oh. Whoa! Fuck's sake. Mate, we're gonna die. One, two, three. Yay! You and then cameraman Andy, Andy are missing from camp. It's now been about two and a half hours. We're in the middle of a storm. You're in! I'm actually quite worried about them. Now wake up! Lost you in an Andy. Come over here! Without radio comms, the celebs have no idea where the boys are. Yeah! Sierra to Bravo, Sierra to Bravo, come in, over. Go ahead, Sierra. Camera woman Louise receives a call from my safety team. Ewan and Andy spot trackers have both been hit with an SOS. Oh, my God. At this time, we cannot get in the water due to the electrical activity. Fuck. So I need the three of you to go with a radio to see if you can see them for us. Guys, we need to make a move. Come on. I don't want you to put yourself in any danger. Over. Copy that. Ryan, please be careful. Please be safe. Don't rush. Go nice and slowly because it's Determined to find Ewan and Andy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ewan! Ryan heads up the search with two members of the camera team. Andy! Oh my God, I'm so worried. God knows what's out here. Ewan! Jesus oh, Christ. Ryan! Holy shit, look at the swamp down here. Oh my God, you're joking. Oh, it's fucking deep, you know. The last time I went to the water source, there was a blooming caiman. You win! I can hear. Listen, do you hear that? Andy! Hello! There, there, they're over there. That way, I heard them there. Right, I'm going round. Go, let's go round. I know where they are. They're around this side. This way, this way. Are you okay? We're so fucking lost, mate. Can you see us? I can see you. Oh, 
can see you, I think. Keep your shot in your light, mate. I'm coming there, I can see you. Can you see me? Yeah. Please stay there. All right, it's right, you're here now, you're safe, you're safe. Thank you, Ryan. I'm so disorientating in the night. Right. Come on, come through here. We're here. Come on, I've got you. We will never do this to me again, boy. Oh, my God. Don't ever wound me like that again, man. Oh, mate. Don't ever wound me like that again, I'm so sorry. Man. We went out to surprise everyone and go on a little hunt. It's like the twilight zone, and we heard a voice. It came from inside the woods. It was like this. It was we no joke. This how it sounded. Oh, 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 Mate, I'm not lying to you. I'm fucking the scariest I've been in my life. <laughs> Dude, it was so scary. Then. A monkey or something. No, mate. It was like a bloody. Ooh, 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 it was something like that. It was, it was a Zulu. Zulu. It was a Zulu warrior. So I might take the piss out of us. Thanks so much for coming out, though. This is Bravo for Sierra. Bravo for Sierra. Over. Go for Sierra, mate. Hi Sierra, I can confirm we have yes. you and Anne Andy um, in our sights. They're safe, a bit shooken up, but they're okay and we're bringing them back to base camp. Over. I am never coming back to the mangrove again. Ewan! Hello! Hooray! Is everyone okay? Everyone's okay. Oh my god, I've never been so pleased to see all of you lot. I feel like crying. I'm 43 years old, I want to cry. Oh god, I didn't feel we we're going to make it back. Don't you ever, ever go night hunting again. I promise I won't. Where's that fucking sun? The events of last night have left the celebs badly shaken. It was horrible. Worst night by far. Just chaos. It's pure and utter chaos. 12 hours of pain. I'm not leaving you guys at night ever again. It felt really nice to come home to a family. It sounds stupid, but this felt like, although it's just horrible, this felt like home. It was like we, we both said, I want to get home. Anyway, we're home now. Man, I. Oh, my mate. My mate. I don't want to be the hunter-gatherer anymore. I want to be looked after. I want someone to hug me tonight. I want someone to give me a cuddle. I want, you know, I want someone to tell me I'm going to be all right. I don't feel all right. I don't... In these sort of extreme conditions, when you haven't eaten, the shelter's barely protecting you from the harsh tropical weather, Morale is low, you can so easily become overwhelmed by negativity. The celebs are now facing their biggest test. If they lose the will to survive and give in to the elements, they're finished. Ryan, you in, Mel. Can we just have like a five minute chat? Yeah. After more than three weeks on the island, the celebs still don't have a shelter that's good enough to protect them or their fire. We need to be clear about what we are going to do when it rains, because we haven't built our shelter up properly. Well, should we crack on with that, then, before it gets dark? Ugh. I'm so weak today. I've got nothing left in me. I don't think we're going to get realistically get, get that done. I feel really tired. We can do a shelter tomorrow. We struggled last night. Our shelter let water in, we were cold, shivering. Then after things like that happen, what you're meant to be doing is trying to rectify the situation, but it's really hard to do when you're so exhausted. We're three days away from the end. Now's not the time for us to break down. I'm putting it out there, looking at the skies. That is a nice sky tonight compared to this time yesterday. Yeah. Have faith, it's gonna be okay, all right? It's not going to rain tonight, I'm telling you. It's like the Truman Show. They just press the hurricane button. Boom. Downpour. Oh, my God, Ryan. It's the fucking end of the world, this is. Within two hours, another tropical storm has hit the island. I'm just spent, irritated, aggravated, agitated. I'm over it. And I go back to my plea that we should work on shelters and beds and make them as waterproof as we possibly can. I'm just wet, 
24-7. I just don't want to do this anymore. I want to leave. You okay, Mel? Hi. You all right? Just go down. Yeah. I'm just so depressed today. It's really scary. We'll take care of you, I promise. As darkness falls, the storm intensifies. Fucking hell! And the celebs face another desperate night. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Fire, we need to keep it alight. Ah, shit! All I want is to be able to get warm. I'm just so cold. What would you like me to do? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I'm so cold. I've just been sick again and I just want to be warm. Honestly, I can't be like this. Okay. But you've been in a fucking puddle all night. Please don't know. Please, sir. It's now been raining for more than 12 hours. Maybe this is the island's cruel last twist. We were never meant to finish on a high. We were always going to finish punished. With three days still to survive, the celebs are in pieces. I just feel so horrendous. My feet hurt. My belly feels like someone's stabbing me. I'm tired. I just, just feel awful. I can't do that for three nights. No. I'm not going to do it again. I can't do it again. I'm not going to do it again. All I can say is I will get help. I'll go get help. I'll go get help. I'll make the call. I'll finish that shit right the fuck off right now. With the group at breaking point, Melody plans to issue an ultimatum to my safety team. I'm not asking for advice. I'm demanding certain things or I'm going to get on a boat. What are you going to demand? I want an emergency blanket. I need hand warmers. I'm serious. Is that asking too much? No, it's not asking too fucking much. I have a huge job coming up. Suck my ass. You're going to help me get through these next couple of days, and that's too fucking bad. I'm going to get my black ass in that seat. I'm going to swim the fuck out of here. You think I won't? I'm black. I will find a way out of this shit. So you have to think about what it is that you want. What do you, what do you need from this conversation? I've got no energy. Mel, can you do it? On the brink of quitting, Melody and Lucy are contacting my safety team to issue an ultimatum. It's not my choice. It's their choice as to whether or not I can do the next three nights. They have to come through with something. Bravo to Sierra. Uh, bravo, bravo, this is Sierra, then. Yes, um, it has been two nights of torrential rain, and we are not willing to spend three nights in the same condition without some sort of intervention, like hand warmers, emergency blankets. Over. As you're aware, this is a survival show. The whole premise is to see that you can rise to the challenges on the island. Fuck this shit. You're all able to hand in your 24-hour notice uh, if you want to leave the island. Over. It's so like torture. Oh. Fucking asshole. Fuck it, I'm out. I don't care. Give me some fucking hand warmers. With my safety team refusing to bail them out, Melody vents her frustrations at the camera crew. I could blow my voice. I haven't sang for a month in here. I haven't had any water. I haven't been eating and I have not complained. I work my fucking ass off here. They can intervene and they are going to. If they don't, I'm out of here. You've come so far. Why would you leave with two days to go? Start another fire. Get some wood. Improve the shelter. Make the situation better than it was last night instead of just copping out and saying I'm going. If you guys will do that, then I'm happy to do it. Me too. But I cannot. I cannot. I'm not fucking getting up all fucking night 
to whatever, hold a fucking tarp over a goddamn fire. Let the fire go out. If we're gonna starve anyway, let the fucking fire go out. Who gives a fuck? I can't be getting up all goddamn night. I need to sleep. I need my voice back. I need my fucking voice chill, back. Chill, chill. You'll be all right. We're together in this, okay? Chill. Come here. And I appreciate what everyone has Come been here. doing. I really do. Come here. I do, but I can't do it. Come on. I can't do I can't do it. I can't Come stay on. like this. Okay. We're here together, okay? Every day I'm getting lucky that I'm not getting sick. Come, come. Calm down. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. After nearly four weeks on the island, Lucy's had enough. There's nothing left of me. I'm dizzy every time I stand up. I've got no energy and I haven't slept for two days. Just want to go home. In the wild, when people are under pressure and your life is on the line, you've got to do all you can to keep a group cohesive and together, because when it's together, it's strong. If these celebs want to make it to the end, they're going to have to rely on each other. What I think and we all need is everybody pulling together. We had a horrendous night last night. Yes. It is not good enough. Thank you. I've started that fire by myself. What has everybody else done? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's careful, not fair. Shania. I did the nets. I careful, helped you with the fire as well. No, I know you're keeping the fire yeah, alive careful. every night. Everybody's doing the bit. I helped you with that fire as well. Come on. Yeah, you... Do you think everybody's doing their bit? Oh, come on, Shazzy. That's not fair. Are you joking, Shaz? Say I don't know fucking work. I never said that. Who said I mean, that? Nobody said that. Again, Lucy heard say... that you said a lot of people have sat around today and she's put two and two together and got five. I don't think it was overly fair what you said. Other well, people have done stuff, though. Lucy, I did not say your name. I didn't say that. That's no, not true. It's just, I want to get up and do stuff. Lucy, I have no energy. You're I've got ill. nothing. I've got you're nothing you're left ill. in me. You're ill. I never mentioned your name at all. I agree. We should be doing something to solve this problem. There's you. nothing there. I love you. I, you are, you're one of my favourites. I would never say anything <laughs> bad about you. Don't be so worried. Don't worry. I feel really terrible that you thought that. It's like the worst 48 hours of my life. I wanted to prove people wrong about what they think about me. And I don't know if I've achieved that or not, but I've worked so hard. I've been so out of my comfort zone. But you've got to do this, not for anyone else, but you've got to do this for yourself. You've got to. I'm terrified of last night again. You've been a warrior princess. We are this together and we need each other can we have a meeting in camp in five minutes please we cannot start bickering with days to go we just need to try and be there for each other okay we're a bloody great team determined not to lose lucy and melody Ewan attempts to bring the group together for one last big push. So we're in agreement then, let's get this shelter as good as it can be. Let's yeah. concentrate on getting you guys <laughs> warm and dry in that shelter. I agree. I, I, I agree. We're in this together. It's crap, it's horrible, but we're all in this together. Come on in, team. Come on. Let's, let's do this. Ah. I'm doing the lower base. Yeah, I'll go middle game. high, you go low. There we go. Just keep ploughing it in. I feel a lot better. Really, all I wanted was some support. I guess calling Sierra was stupid and saying I want to leave is stupid because I'm demanding support from the wrong people. Where are you up to, Mel? Can I give you a hand, darling? I needed to demand that support from my campmates, so I shouldn't be insecure at the end of the day. That's what it comes down to. I'm learning. OK, it's a whopper. Oh, God, I was so close to going today. We are so close to the end. And I will not let this island defeat me. Nothing worth achieving is easy. And you can say that's for sure on this island. Team effort again, well done.
Amazing. Right, let's scout this area. Keep scouting the floor everywhere. With a watertight roof over their heads. Come on, yaka, yaka, yaka. All the celebs need now is some food in their bellies. Come on, yaka, give us a break. So frustrating because there's so many things that look like yaka. I bet we walked past so much of it. What's this? That's not it, is it? No. While the others comb the jungle, we're going to go and try and get some fish. Shazia prepares to check the fish nets. Fish is the most important thing for the whole camp. I get that, people are always sitting around the fire. And the first thing they say to me is, how many fish have you got? How many fish have you got? And I was really disappointed when I haven't got anything. What's that? Oh, my God. Boom, ding! Yucca! We just got yucca! This is amazing. Everyone's going to be so happy. So happy right now. Guys, there's loads. We'll go back, guys, with a rucksack, with a gloomy face, yeah. and we'll go back and we'll just go, so sorry. Yeah, empty the rucksack for us and just let them see their faces. I agree. Because this is a lot. They're coming back. Is there a chance someone could do loose a uh, coconut? She's not feeling well. We've come back. What? Do me a favour, mate. Get this rucksack to do my tea and we take it off my back. I've got all Andy's kit in it. It's <laughs> fucking pain in the ass. Honestly. Just fill how heavy that is with this kit. Oh, my God. I'm buzzing today. On the way back, we kept thinking, right, how can we try and like shock everybody? So I said, right, let's do a little trick on Ryan. So I put it on my rucksack, came back. Doom and gloom on our Oh, Ryan! <laughs> I'm doing a really serious one, then. Sorry, mate. Fucking <laughs> bell end. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's a shark. Along with the bumper yucca find, Shazia's nets give up their most spectacular catch of the whole month. You guys. <laughs> Shazia, that is like Amazing. Well oh. <laughs> oh my god, that is so much food. That is chunky chunky. Yeah. A lot of food. Really nice. You see this in front of you, it's just like it's like a piss head in a kebab shop at the back of the queue, and I'm just waiting to order. <sighs> it looks like chicken, doesn't it? Gonna get a cup and a half of shark. Mm. What a taste! Oh god, the way that it feels to eat after starving for so long. It's almost like dropping a pebble at the bottom of an empty well. It just tinks so loud. It hit my stomach so hard. It is like a tuna steak but I could immediately feel just energy coming back into my body. It is an amazing feeling. I really feel like this island finally helping us out here. I'm so grateful. You don't get that in Manchester. <laughs> She's right for once. <laughs> Bravo. This is Papa Bear. Are you reading over? Yes, Papa, we read you loud and clear. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know the bear will be coming to pick you up in the morning. After nearly a month on the island, the celebs have just one more night to survive before they return to civilization. The final six will Fuck be picked yeah. up. I've been dreaming about this moment for 28 days. <laughs> so excited, I'm so happy. One, two, three, oh! Oh! 
Melody, Melody. Hi. With their time on the island almost at an end, Ewan wants to deal with some unfinished business. I just wanted to say sorry to you. I, I, I got to admit, I misjudged you a lot because I, you are honestly totally different I to how I thought you were going to be. And, and maybe yeah. I came across a little bit aggressive or a bit forward. And the truth is, I'm not really that alpha male. I am quite a softie. I cry at films. But seriously, I, I could not have done a bigger U-turn in my thoughts of how you are. You've, you, you've turned out to be the hardest working, nicest person in camp. But I, I just need to give you a hug and say, oh, I'm, I could not have been further you in. from the truth of how I thought I you were. I know, I know, it's so crazy. That... Learned a lot about you and today, his character kind of changing from super alpha male, you know, the guy that gets everything done to kind of showing his softer side and being more vulnerable, and I, I, I really think that people will like him more that way. It's who he really is. Melody, we cannot go to bed on that last night without you busting out some big tune. Ooh, I know a song we all know. I think yes. it's really, really appropriate for this last Hoorah, we got going on here. Whoa. Now you're back from the outer space. Don't turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Got all my love to give. I got all my love to give. I will survive. I will Tea in bed, please. Cup of tea in bed. Post egg on toast will do, mate. The brutal conditions may have taken their toll on the celebs, but the island romance between Lucy and Ryan has endured. They are the world's biggest cutie pies. I love watching them because they're just always huddled together. They love on the island, hopefully. We worked out, right? What did we work out? We tried to work how many hours we've been on this island. 540 hours, which works out as roughly 70 dates. <laughs> you guys are basically ready to move in together. So we're going to get married and divorce before we leave. It is impossible to get up out here, isn't it? Like, uh... Like, come on, like, Jesus Christ. Gonna... Sam, you'd be surprised. <laughs> no, shut Oh, really? No I mean, way. Like, last time you're pregnant, I am blaming this one. But say, like, yeah. it happened, it'd have to be called Baby Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, he's been my rock here, really. I think I'd really struggle to have done this without him. Me, Tarzan. <laughs> Me, look after Jane. <laughs> <laughs> He's asked to take me on a first date when we get out of here and see how we feel about each other. But yeah, it's, it's quite exciting, actually. It's a cool story, also, if it works out, you know? Like, well, this is how we met. I didn't think that anyone would get together. I was like, yeah, like, where, this where how, <laughs> yeah. The fact that they're into each other under these circumstances. They found love in a hopeless place. Yeah. So I'm on my way to pick up the remaining celebrities. It's such a great feeling for these guys now, heading back to civilization. It's hard to appreciate what they're about to experience, but for me, it's another reminder that at heart, the island is pretty simple. The weak leave and the strong stay. Excited to see this day arrive. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Respect. Thank you so much. Thank you. But do you remember day one when I dropped you off and I said, 
get used to the hurting because this oh, is going to yeah. be brutal. Yeah. You know, and also I said that not everyone will be here at the end. Most people, first sign of battle, they're out of there. But you've looked after each other. Now you hung on in there. And that's ultimately what survival is about. Yeah. And you keep going. I think you're amazing. Thank you. Right, come on, let's do it. Do you want to put the fire out together? Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Jerry, come there. Pour it on, Pour my friends. Pour water over it. If not, anybody need a wee. To the fire that's Go provided. Ryan. To a month of water. Woo. Go on, mate. Give it some. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? That's heartbreaking. Wow. Bloody great. Bye, Ivan. Oh my God. I'll never see you again. Well, it's funny, you know, always that first impression is just like, wow, these guys are thin, brown, and they stink. What really stands out always is that glint in their eye. And they all have it. They're all here because they're great survivors. They've got it in here. of the island scared me because making friends has always been hard for me, but that's changed. I had to trust people here, and they've not let me down. I've learned here you have to be a team player, and I've learned to be patient. Quite frankly, the softer me is probably a lot nicer than the tougher me. Water! Water! <laughs> What this experience has taught me about myself is that if someone tells me that I can't do something, I'm going to think to myself, yes, I can. I've done the island. There's just no bigger achievement than getting to the end because I did it, I conquered it. Probably one of the proudest moments I've ever had, actually. Ready to go back to civilization? So proud of everyone here. That means we're here. Oh. I'm sad for the people that left early because actually this feeling, bar none, is the best feeling I've ever had. Oh my god. So tough. Okay, so mainly you guys have earned it. Thank you. Well, so good. Thank you. After a month on the island with some very, very cool friends of mine. Yes! Oh my god! Have you tried this one yet? That's coconut oh and pineapple. I might actually cry. Oh, like animals. Mm. The kiwi's amazing, right? Just a fork is amazing as well, just have a fork. I don't know how to use one. I mean, oh, a lot of hard. I am trying to remind myself that you can eat, don't squinch your butt cheeks. Because all this isn't going to give you diarrhea. Enjoy your life. <laughs> For 28 days, the celebs have had no contact with family or friends. Hey, Mom. You all right? I'm all right. Yeah. Oh, my God. You fucking did it. I 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 did it. I'm just so sad. It's, oh, it's the toughest month, honestly, when I tell Why you. Why are you sad? Why are you crying? It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and I never want to be away from you like that again. When I tell you how bad it is, you won't ever believe me. <laughs> You're okay. I can't believe I get to hear your voice again. How is everything? I love you too. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, bloody hell, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, the man fucking old. Oh, man, I miss you so much, man. Oh, you oh, hey, your voice is the best thing I've ever... I don't care about food, I don't care about anything as long as I speak to your man. <laughs> Dad? Hello, We did well, Dad. We caught loads of fish, we caught a caiman, I caught a snake. We did good. Oh. We did good. A holiday? Really? A holiday? You fucking laugh. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so scared. I've got a proper beard. What on? I look like a pirate. 
Oh, oh my, my gosh. We've got no boobies left. Um, small? Nothing. Oh my. There's nothing of me. I think that people thought I was probably a little bit lazy, just a typical Essex girl. <gasps> I've hopefully proved them all wrong because this is me laid bare. I've worked hard every single day and I'm so proud of myself. Oh, I got that sound out. Can't wait to shave my legs, sorry. <laughs> I cannot wait to shave my legs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! I'm on a bed! The battle for survival is invariably won in the mind. But those that endured are the ones that have taken the best side of celebrity, that tenaciousness, that resourcefulness, that positivity, and have actually used that as a tool to help them through this experience. There were a few egos that arrived on the island, but there are no egos leaving the island, and uh, they should be really proud of themselves. One month ago, I abandoned 10 celebrities. Let's do this, guys! Oh, my God! On a remote desert island in the Pacific. <laughs> but the island was a bitch. The bitch in a bad mood. I wanted to find out how they would cope when stripped to their luxury lifestyles. We've got all the gear, but no idea. Armed with just a few basic tools. Move out the way, move out the way. In an environment filled with dangerous wildlife. Oh! This is it! That was coming to me. Me, Tarzan. Me look okay. after Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, if you'd had 11 of me on the island, we would have died pretty quick. With their lives in danger, I was forced to send in my safety team. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. You need to work hard. We were just shit. Ravaged by thirst, hunger and a lack of sleep. It was just a mental and physical nightmare. Four celebs gave up and quit. <laughs> Au revoir. Tonight, I discover how those that remained really coped. Oh, fuck. Oh. When pushed to the edge of existence. Ah! I was laying in a puddle for 12 hours. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. But the fucking Blair Witch. Find out how island life affected them. No shit. We're a mess. Are we going to die? The secrets they used to stay alive. Animal prints leading to the water source. Do I think we failed? No, I don't think we failed at all. And how it finally felt to leave. Four weeks after dropping off the celebs, I travelled back to the island to meet the survivors. What a contrast the conditions are from their everyday life of that VIP treatment, the airport lounges, the personal assistance, to the hard reality of island living. This is unlike anything these celebrities will have ever experienced before. Yeah. That's him. And what's going to be interesting is to see how these celebrities have changed. He's finally yes. <laughs> Of the 10 celebs I marooned, Excited yes. to see this day arrive. Yes. Only six made it to the end. I would like to say thank you for the opportunity, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it was tough. Welcome to the world of survival. It hurts, you know? It wasn't always pretty, yeah. but, you know, you hung on in there. And that's ultimately what survival is about. Yeah. You fail, you fail, you pick yourself up, keep going. Right, come on, show me your camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bear in mind, it's not quite the Ritz, all right? I wanted to find out why the drive and ambition that's propelled them to success in life initially deserted them on the island. Start with shelter. After four weeks, the celebs were still sleeping on the ground. Why haven't you wanted to elevate yourselves? When it rains, we all just come in under here and just huddle. And yeah, then... but you're still wet, though. Yeah. 
In our defence, we were all so fatigued. It just got to the stage of, not that will do, but we were quite content. Lots of people loved the fire. I was happy in there, and it, and it, it felt comfortable. It is a fundamental thing. Get off the ground. It's not, we don't say it for, for fun. We say it because it's about your preservation. Come on, team. Let's go, let's get all this kit off. From the outset, there were huge differences between how the men and the women approached their survival. Choose the easiest path, straight this way, not that way. Hewan, don't want to go into the mangrove. We're going this way. Hewan. So what do you want to do? This was a major factor in their lack of success in the first week. There's no denying that as groups, people did often operate the way you might have predicted from basic stereotypes. A lot of the men did see themselves as the natural leaders. Guys, keep going as straight as much as we can. You've got to trust me on this. Let's go. The men didn't think about what they were doing. Let's do this, let's do that. I know this, you know that, I know this. When it came to finding water, the men were completely incompetent. Mate, smell-wise, it smells moist, isn't it? I have a sneaky feeling that if you follow it right, yep. that there's water there, because I start to see butterflies, man. I'm very old-fashioned in the fact that I like to be, you know, the old-fashioned man who looks after the women. What well am I? But we didn't have any sense of direction. Smash we thought we did. That's good. That's good. And then we got lost and we had no answers. This is a desperate situation. By contrast, the women's decision to follow animal footprints led them straight to a water hole. It's not salty, it's fresh water. I'm man enough to admit it, I think women on the island were a lot wiser and more sensible. The gun-ho attitude didn't work on the island. The quieter, more measured approach repeatedly paid dividends for the female celebrities. He's sleeping, sleeping snake. Should I just whack it? Just fucking do it. And the girls get to bring home the bacon tonight. Guys, we come bearing water and snake. Are you joking me? Oh, my God. Yes, Doc. No, you didn't. Yeah, its head's not on there anymore. Wicked. What? You did it? What? Well done, girls. What the fuck? Oh, me and Lucy. What? I think when Lucy and Sarah found the snake, there was a sense of, oh, well, it's not just the men that can catch and kill animals, so everybody's doing it now. Yet for all the women's triumphs, the louder male voices dominated. We need palm leaves and we need straight bamboo or straight wood. There's not enough people doing fire there. We've got water, we don't need fire tonight. Their failure to listen led to the group's biggest mistake. It's just crazy. Yeah. This bit. Fire is the most important. Yeah, it is. And there's only me and you, two mm -hmm. people doing it. The celeb's cardinal mistake was their failure to prioritise making fire. This fire wasn't easy for you guys to come by, was yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, for, from our point of view, we had to say, listen, without this, you're going to die. Yeah. You've got to get fire going. Yeah. Without the fire, the celebrities had no way to keep warm and dry or boil water for drinking. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? That first week was without doubt the hardest week I've ever had in my life. Yeah. My hands got really bad, so I had, like, trench hands and I was quite scared. I want to help I'm and I can't... Thing. I remember the doctor looking at them and saying, I think you're going to lose all your fingernails, and I'm like, you're kidding me, cos I'm so vain about my fingernails. All of this is numb now, so they won't bend properly, and I can't actually get them to do very much. Those moments were really frightening, cos they just didn't look like hands anymore. I remember that all of us did think about collectively leaving on the third night, which would have made this one of the less successful series. People were saying things like, we can't survive this, this has been a mistake, let's ring them and tell them we're all coming off. The celebrities had failed so spectacularly. Here they are. For the first time, I had no choice but to send in my safety team to assist them lighting a fire. Oh. Hello. 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 The truth is, without fire, they eventually they're all just going to perish. We had to step in at that point. It was really embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. There's 15 of us. We've got all the gear, but no idea. I was really ashamed because 
I wanted to be that team that just got there, that survived, that thrived. And suddenly, I have to admit to failure was hard. Nice long breaths. But in a way, that negative situation turned into a positive. By then coming on the island and putting us into groups and making us work hard to make fire, all of a sudden it happened. And I think it proved to us, you can't do this on your own. You have to work in numbers. Bye, everyone! So do I think we failed? Uh, no, I don't think we failed at all. There's my answer. <laughs> Come on, wood shavings, guys! I think we did fucking marvellous. That's my honest answer. <laughs> Unlike the other celebs... RJ, that was skill. Breaking Bad star RJ Mitty had come to the island with a wealth of survival knowledge. He was an expert in all fields. <clears throat> RJ would say, well, yeah, 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 you know, I, you we start fires all the time. We know about fires. Yeah, yeah, we know about that. There's, like, multiple ways of doing this bamboo technique. The group had thought that RJ would give them a real advantage. He was full of tricks. He just couldn't convince a lot of other people to adopt them because they often involved, like, 11 different bits of equipment that he'd rigged up over a sort of a 50-mile radius and it was still only working the event of a particular cloud coming in. Fire! Yes! Fire. Yes! Wow, oh, shit. It just died on me. People were getting annoyed because that knowledge never amounted to anything. Oh, fuck. Oh. RJ was absolutely convinced he would be the one to get fire going. So when, ultimately, A, it wasn't him, and B, we were helped to do it, I think he did feel quite crushed. He resented any sort of help that we might be able to get. How are you doing, man? I really feel like we could have done this on our own. Someone comes in, yay, we're saved, and they should have never even been on this island. They really shouldn't have. I, I just really feel that you really learned nothing. So, I'm leaving today. I was like, well, that's not fair, because none of us know what we're doing. You haven't given any more to the team than anyone else. I, I took it really badly, and I had to say something to him. I just feel like your, your reasons for leaving is working really hard, but we all are working really yeah, hard really as well. Hard. I'm not going back on it. That's fine. Taking it out on the group and saying, you guys are a mess, well, no shit. We've got no survival skills. Our camp has zero survival skills. Do you know what? It is not about the knowledge. Yeah, you know? we have and, the knowledge. And the thing is, yeah. A, a survivor needs to communicate that properly. Yes. B, a survivor, you say he had all the things, and yeah, but he didn't get the fire going. Our team had to step in. And forget both of those. The most important thing in a survivor mm. is grit. Yeah. yeah. You know? I look at you guys in a totally different light than I look to somebody who, who throws a towel in. Him leaving brought us together because he kind of doubted us. He said, I'm leaving because you lot aren't together, you know, you don't know what you're doing. It's not going to get any better than this. And I don't know about the others, but I took that as a bit of an insult and I thought, do you know what, we can prove you that you, we're going to prove you wrong here and we are going to pull together. I think the six of us that finished, we finished well, probably because of some of the stuff that was being said by people who left. You want a jerry can to sit on? A month after marooning ten celebrities on a remote Pacific island, I returned to see how they survived and how it changed them. First time ever on the island, some hints of romance. <laughs> was, this, was, this a good, was this a good thing for the survivor? Uh, <laughs> Intimate relationships on the island are usually a non-starter but not for Ryan and Lucy. We had an amazing bond, and actually, I feel really lucky because it's very lonely, and I honestly don't think I could have completed this without him. Emotional support is the best thing here. For me, I, I, yeah, I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, my God, that's so cute. He has actually got a very good bum. It's won a price. It's Considering not... we've not eaten much, you've still got a bit of rump on there. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? He's keeping it in good shape. So if we get hungry, we know who to eat first. Yeah. I'm going straight for the rump. Juicy bit. I'm giving them space. It's the right thing to do. But I'm like the dad, I'm not too far away, I'm watching. No heavy petting. I love the idea of love on the island. 
Ryan and Lucy from the get-go, there was this little spark, and I know we were all trying to pretend like it wasn't happening, but it was definitely happening. The yellow. Yeah. It's not the nicest way to meet someone. <laughs> the bonus is he can't see me any worse. Oh, I can't believe you're touching yeah, my feet. Here, so That's so disgusting. I can't believe he's touching my feet. Oh, my God. They're so gross. Yeah, if you can still fancy me after what I look like in there, whoa, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they stroll up the cove a little bit there and there's a bit where you can go out of sight, if you know what I mean. If they'd been really coupley and cliquey about it, I guess it would have been annoying. But everyone seems to get sort of um, a boost out of it. Take a selfie. Are you acting all badass with your knife? Well, yeah, I got the knife on, huh? <laughs> I just started to see this determined, caring and, and, and hard-working woman who, who wanted to achieve something, and it was, it was so attractive. Even the hardship of island life couldn't dampen the romance. My feet hurt. My belly feels like someone's stabbing me. It's so awful. You've been a warrior princess, and we need each other. I was so cold, and he really looked after me. He helped me change my clothes into something dry. He tried to keep me covered up from the rain, and then I literally had no energy to go to the toilet. He basically held me up while I weed, and I may have weed on his foot a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. Not many people can say that after a week of knowing someone, can they? <laughs> Me, Tarzan. Me okay? look after Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked about this before or not really? No, we haven't really. <laughs> so cheers, mate. <laughs> cheers, mate. Thanks, don't, worry, don't worry, Lucy. He'll have a shave and brush his teeth. <laughs> You'll probably find he scrubs well. up all right. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I think to see any form of romance on the island is a pretty rare thing, just because your libido is so low. Yet we saw a really wonderful romance blossom, and it humanises them, it changed them from just being sort of these machines that are fighting for every scrap of food into actually human beings. Whilst their romance helped Lucy and Ryan survive on the island, I wanted to find out if they and the rest of the group felt that being a celebrity made life on the island harder. I think it's really interesting to see because everyone sees the glossy side to a celebrity. They see, you know, the red carpets, the photo shoots, all that stuff, but they don't see what we're really like. Um... And you take a deep breath. Namaste. I do have a glamorous lifestyle. I go to lovely photo shoots and I have a nice life. I go on lovely holidays. <laughs> Lucy's a big model back home, you know what you know, I don't you? <laughs> yes, there's this glamorous side, but also I am a tough cookie, I can get on with it, and there was no way I wasn't gonna finish the island. With no creature comforts, the celebrities learned to improvise. She's gonna try her, her first blend of a unique tea, which is just water and leaves. What's the verdict? It tastes like tea. Yeah. It's actually really good. It tastes like Earl Grey. That's absolutely ideal. Yeah. You can find it in any island near you. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's, I mean, it's ideal. It's like a Sauvignon Blanc in our current situation, that is. I think we've all had our own struggles. We've all had to work very hard to get where we have in life. And if anything, by being in the public eye, we get judged more, we get criticised more. So it's even tougher. So for me, it wasn't about being in the public eye on that island. It was about me, you and Gwyn Thomas, seeing it through to the end of that challenge, and I had to do it. No matter what walk of life you come from, you get out of life what you put in it. And like me lining up for the Olympic final, guys acting, whatever they do music, it's bloody hard on this island, and it doesn't matter who you are coming into it. I think it okay. matters who we are going out of it, and, and we're all going to be changed for the better. Of all the islanders, it was Ewan who went through the biggest transformation. From the outset, he took control of the group, but his style of leadership didn't agree with everyone. Initially, there were louder voices, stronger voices, more opinionated voices always being heard, and the 
quieter voices in the group were not being heard. I can put my hand up and I was guilty of that, I think, for the first maybe week, two weeks. I was very gung-ho. Ewan had all guns blazing attitude right from the beginning. I'm bloodied, battered, but belated. Hopefully my ways, being an alpha male, weren't misunderstood. Hopefully people just understood that that's how I am. Right, guys, we found a campsite which is way better than this. It's a non-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. This is our last night in Mosquito Hell. It seemed more like dictatorship as opposed to leadership. You need to calm it a bit. Well, you I get so it. excited, well, but everyone needs to agree. Everyone needs to be happy. Sure, but personally, I'm going, whatever happens. Ewan was very much get in, charge and go forward. And he meant well, but I don't think it worked for our team. I heard someone say Cayman. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. Let's fucking get it. This is what I came to the island for. It was Ewan's single-mindedness. No panicking, mate, no hesitation. That saw him lead the charge with the Cayman kill. I'm happy to grab his tail and pull him out. Yes, he is now. I've got him, I've got him, I've got him! Get here! Yes! <gasps> oh, my God! Having killed one croc, Ewan was determined to provide for the group again. I haven't told the others where I'm going. I'm just desperate to bring something back. But the Olympic sprinter was still leading without the support of his campmates. Getting lost was not part of the plan. What the hell was that? There's like heavy breathing coming over there and some weird noise from over there, and I'm really scared now. Yeah, we're going to die. After being rescued by Ryan, the next morning, a different Ewan emerged. I don't want to be the hunter-gatherer anymore. I want to be looked after. I want someone to hug me tonight. I want someone to give me a cuddle. I want, you know, I want someone to tell me I'm going to be all right. I don't feel all right. Once he relinquished this idea of what he thought survival should be or what it takes, then he started to really become himself and show himself. I spend a lot of time on my own, and I'm my own boss, and I do things I want to do, Them, it's my way or no way. Yep. And I've learned now, no, that isn't correct. Yeah. My way isn't always going to be the right way. Of course it's not, and I need to listen to others. I just became more humble and, and a better person, and I think if I'd continued to be that alpha male for the whole month, then I would have been unbearable to live with, and it would have been difficult. I just need to give you a hug and say, oh. I'm, I'm just, I, I love you in this kind of transformation. I love that I saw you in as this kind of demigod to start with and that underneath all those layers of kind of muscle and strength, there is just this lovely, soft, squidgy Pillsbury Doughboy. David Hasselhoff! Being an athlete from an individual sport where the stopwatch doesn't lie, if I run well, I get the plaudits, I run badly, I get the criticism. I led a very selfish life because it was all about me, me, me. And coming here, having 14 people to get on with, when I would never put myself in a big group like that anyway, because I'm a bit of a loner at home, I had to change my viewpoint. Well, it's a really powerful thing you, you say, you, and it really is. You know, I admire you more for that than anything else, you know? I think Ewan's journey was very powerful for me to hear. I might be solitary in everyday life back home, but actually here I really need people. OK, let's have a look over here. Okay. Ewan learned he needed his campmates to survive. By contrast, Shazia discovered she had hidden talents. So, uh, this is a fishing station. This is a fishing station. Initially, I, I never fished before in my life. And then we found this one net, so we decided to untangle it, which took us a couple of days. One day, we got 15 fish. And then another day, 10 fish, 11 fish. So the net was working. Shazia's success wasn't instant. She repositioned and checked the nets daily, and she never gave up. Nothing there, completely empty. If the net thing doesn't work, what are we going to do? I remember waking up at 6 a.m. when the sun's coming up and not really wanting to move and being like, oh, really cosy and like, oh, I don't want to move. And she's up, swimsuit on, goggles on. When Olympic swimmer Sharon quit the island, it made Shazia's job even tougher. It was just left up to me to then get the fish and sort out the nets. And I, I just remember the waves bashing me across the rocks. There were a few times I thought, 
I could have done with some help here. Eventually, her persistence paid off. Oh, my God, I've got a fish! This one is still very lively. Oh, my God! Woo! She was like a woman possessed. She looked the part. She had some funky swimsuit, and she almost looked like a bit of a Bond girl every time she came out of the water. Every day, getting fish for us. I cannot thank her enough. There's about ten more in there. No, you're joking. One fish each for breakfast, guys. No, no, no. no. no? no. really. No. You just want everyone to be happy, and when everyone's happy, you can pass the time quicker. It's it's a better way of survival. Without her fishing skills or luck, whichever way you want to say, um, we wouldn't have survived as well as we did. No, I love her. So there we go. The inside of the fish. Nobody likes to do this job of gutting the animals, but Butcher Mirza is at it again. <laughs> You're now a legit fisher lady. No, not really. It was trial and error. We saw what worked, like cutting the bait out of the fish and putting it back into the sea so that the fish are attracted by the bait, yeah. putting in tiny bits of silver foil so that the fish are attracted to shiny things. These are all good poacher tricks. But I didn't know that in the beginning. We kind of worked it out as we went along. These are systems that are learned through failure. And I love that thing that necessity is the mother of all invention. If you fail, you fail, you figure out how to do it and how to do survival jobs efficiently, you eventually work out a really slick system. Good for you. OK, well, I shall see Cooking. Cooking corner. This is the only area that looks clean. Oh, we knew good. you were coming. Stripped of their creature comforts, the celebs had to rely on their own ingenuity to feed themselves. I'm seeing for myself how they did it. Our favourite meal was yucca yeah. with turkey on top, and it felt like chicken and chips. We take it for granted the taste yes. of something like that, but it's powerful, isn't it? I've ensured there was enough food on the island to feed the camp. Holy shit. All they had to do was find it. I think it's come from heaven. It might be sugar cane. No way. Taste it. That's sweet. Oh, my God. Find the sugar cane was, for me, the nicest feeling out of all the food that was given to me. Oh! When we found the sugar cane, those were kind of more mental boosters. Used to smile. But not all of the celebs scavenging proved quite so appetising. Oh, my God, fuck me! The big fuck off crab, that! It's like purple shit, look at that! Yo, that's pretty crazy. Can we eat that? It's not that big, is it? It's pretty big. Looks like some bad guy from the Power Rangers or something. Yeah. <laughs> Any bit of food was food that kept you alive. Right for the middle. Everybody was starving. We'd have eaten just about anything. We got our first food! Just the Krabby Boys. <laughs> I've never craved vegetables so much in my entire life. Guys, I've got something. I've just found a big carrot. A carrot? Yep. <laughs> the diet on the island was strange. Hygiene just went out the window. Back home, you drop something and you, on the kitchen floor, you go, I can't eat that, I've dropped it. What? On the island, I'd drop things in shit and I'd pick it up and go, that's all right, I'll have that. For some islanders, foraging proved fruitful. I had one job, it was basically to collect things and bring them back. I never find anything cool. This is incredible. Times like this, somebody like me gets that hunting thrill. In my case, it's not turkeys or caiman like the other guys. It's just these little fellas. It's the dinner tonight. Oh, God. It's oh. one berry. That's it's a one berry. pair of coconuts, Ryan. <laughs> Coconuts and all. And there's two over there. Mine are more Plus like the, mine are more like yeah. Joby berries. <laughs> yeah, Joby berries and yours are coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> so what about coconuts? Did you ever tire of coconuts? It kept us going, to be honest, the, the, the fluid, and I loved eating them as well. I love the grease and fat. It's just not what it does to me. The diarrhea that I suffered was as a result of eating coconut 
um, constantly. I woke up this morning, I, my stomach was hurting. I was standing right here and I was like, I'll let a little fart out. I shit it on myself. Shit? Yeah. You shit yourself? You follow first? Yeah, I sharted. I had a bad stomach, but I didn't shart. Shart's bad. Yeah. And I had to run to the fucking woods, <gasps> finish it, go in the sea, come out, do it oh again. Oh my god. Melody, she used to advertise it quite a bit, bless her. She'd go, I've been up three times in the night, I got damn diarrhea shit in the woods. I gave birth yesterday, it was awful. Really? I was like, <sighs> <sighs> like between two rocks, I was like, <sighs> She literally would shit where she slept. She said she didn't, but like she literally, in the pitch black, she'd only walk about three metres, have a poo and go back to bed. But I must admit, from behind, it does look like you've had another shark episode. They are a bit baggy. Oh. <laughs> it was awful. I did. <laughs> and does a lot of the day revolve around discussing your bowel movements? Yeah, uh, we love food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> food. Yeah. They, they go hand in hand. When the celebrities got sick, camp doctor Sarah was on hand to treat their many ailments. We had a lot of skin infections, secondary to kind of bites. Every day? Most days, people were coming in with some kind of skin torment. I'm covered from head to foot in bites. That's bad. Her greatest medical challenge came courtesy of the island's smallest creatures. Hands, arms, legs, belly, back, face, oh. ears. You're being bitten every five seconds. This is crazy. That is huge. Like that. Looks like I've got a fucking other head on my head. They're so small and look so inconspicuous, but each one of their bites it's like a little electric shock going through you. The insects were from a horror movie. Spielberg would have joy in doing a film based on the horror that <laughs> sandfly bites. <sighs> They're just coming up. That is killing, even just to walk. It's infected. Do we burst them and stuff? No, don't touch them. Oh, God. This is unbearable. It's so fucking torture. <laughs> It was horrendous. You can cover yourself up, you can put your socks on your hand, you can put something over your face, you can wear your, your long sleeves and tuck your trousers in your socks, but they still seem to get absolutely everywhere. Stop scratching, missus. And Mel really did experience them getting everywhere. My butthole was stinging, now it's itching. I don't know what's going on. I think you've been bitten up there. In, the on the anus hole. was stinging? Yeah, oh. on my anus hole. Nothing could really prepare us for what we went through, I think, until he actually dropped into the situation. I think for all of us, it was a massive shock to the system, and I can appreciate why some people left. Of the 10 celebrities who arrived on the island, four quit. You can survive without food for about 30 days. You can survive without water. But if you tell yourself that you can't do that, then that's what will manifest, and yeah. that's what will happen. So when your thoughts start going incorrect up there, yeah. that's when you lose the battle. Probably one of the worst nights of my whole entire life, and that's not an exaggeration. The onset of tropical storm season tested their resolve. All I want is to be able to get warm, and I'm just so cold. I was begging for a scorpion to bite me, just so I had a good reason to leave, and I didn't look like a wimp. It can get very lonely, and when times are tough, you just think about your own survival and you think, how am I going to get through tonight? How am I going to get through today? I'm really weak and I have to move my legs and stuff. It's to get warm. Do you feel warm? It almost was. God, just take me. I've had enough of this island already. I'm worried that some people leave. I think we're at a big risk of losing three people, possibly. And I don't blame them. You know, I think it was about 36 hours in when I was like, why have I returned to this after thousands of years of evolution? <laughs> Look after yourself. Look after each other. Bye. After RJ, Sharon was the second celebrity to leave the island. Oh, God, don't you wish that was you? We were all kind of going, what on earth are we doing here? And I'm freezing cold and I'm soaking wet and I really don't know that I could do a month of this. And I think that was definitely going through my head. I don't think I can do a month of this. But it's weird because when someone gets picked up, it almost teases it. It's like, I can get on that boat and I'm sort of 24 hours from being at home with all the people that I love. You're brilliant! There was 10 and now there's 
eight. Who knows, there could be more. Tomorrow I'm gonna make a move. Things went from bad to worse when Jordan announced he was leaving. So tomorrow I'm out, but like, but yeah, love. We're dropping like flies. Before the island, I was like, you're gonna have to drag me off here. I was thinking, isolation, that's my strength. Like, you know, I'll be able to just sit there and exist. Hi, this is Jordan. I'm just wondering if I could get myself some kind of Uber out of here. I'm not too proud to admit that I was very wrong to think that I could last. Au revoir. Je suis désolé. That's the biggest smile I've seen on his face since I met him. On a selfish note, when he left, I thought, well, it's one less mouth to feed. So, you know, a dog eat dog world, I kind of thought, well, you know, that's one less person we need to worry about. <laughs> Survival is not the place for an abstract thinker, I think. I think ultimately, if you'd had 11 of me on that island, I think we would have died pretty quick. So, Jordan. He said, actually, I always quit everything and I'm not going to change now. And I don't it's really, anything. It was really, really, really sad to hear. But the truth is, I looked everyone in the eye at the start and said, you will develop every excuse under the planet to leave and you won't find any reasons to stay, but the champions and the survivors define themselves in those moments. You stay. Do you think they'll honestly regret it? They regret it within two hours right of leaving. Right now, yeah. yeah. It's that fast. The only failure on the island comes for quitting. However you dress it up, they threw in the towel. And I said to them day one, the pain won't last forever. Just hang on in there and don't quit. And that's why I have so much respect for those remaining six celebs. Mark, I'd be interested to see your take, but I see that slightly differently. Comedian Mark was the one exception. He was determined to stay, but the psychological battle proved too much. I'd known Mark for 13 years before I came here. In the end, it was a battle between the mental and the physical. This is Mark Watson from the pits of hell. There's no exaggeration to say that if similar rain conditions break out tonight, this camp could be washed away altogether. Mark Watson news it. Uh, we, don't know, we don't know what the time is. <laughs> what a sweet little side. <laughs> suddenly realised this is the last thing anybody wants to look at. Mark, he was our island tramp. He really looked the part. He had a belt which became a running joke, cos everywhere I looked, his belt was left on a tree or another rock. I'm a guy whose trousers fall down a lot, and I, that's who I am. Look, my belt is down somewhere down there. I'll find it now, and maybe we can all have 24 hours without my arse in your face, eh? His arse was hanging out with bites all over it. Then you'd see his boots hanging off with no laces on. I'll put the belt on and everyone can see someone else's bum. But I think you're going to miss it when it's gone. I've been terrible at keeping track of stuff all my life and that came up a number of times on the island. My belt every day. Eventually I left it on the island on purpose. So many people have complained about how low my trousers were that it felt symbolically the belt had to stay there. But Mark's sense of humour alone was not enough to cope with the challenges of island life. From day one, he struggled. Oh, First, there was his fear of thunderstorms. Oh, fuck. Oh, right, 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 right. I told everyone that I was very frightened indeed of thunderstorms. I was physically very scared, right up there with the worst experiences of my life. Then it was his physical and mental exhaustion. I've got nothing funny to say today. I... The difficulty level's gone up again, I think, because of the insomnia. I'm not exaggerating, I don't sleep at night. You OK, Mark? You having a bad day today, mate? I think Mark found it really difficult. You have to give yourself a sense of purpose and a meaning to being on that island. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done here. <laughs> Mark? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, you OK, mate, yeah? I got you, boy. Oh, Everything's a struggle, isn't it? Just walking. Come and lie down for a bit. It was really upsetting to watch his deterioration. Right. Let fat boy take your weight. <laughs> I got, I got, right, let's just... Mark was having no sleep, which meant that he couldn't really do anything. It felt like almost babysitting sometimes. I think I went four or five days and nights without sleeping at all. I was incrementally getting weaker and weaker. I'm just worried about him. He was struggling. He wasn't himself. He needed to go. He was determined not to quit. 
but with just a week remaining, he left the island. Everybody, in fact, started saying, you should probably go. So either people were looking after me or they really just didn't like me by that point. Either way, I thought they were probably right. <laughs> After a month on the island, I returned to take the castaways back to civilization. Goodbye, island. Oh Goodbye. I will not miss you. And I'll never see you again. I have so much respect for those remaining six celebs, not because they were the best survivor lists. They're all here because they're great survivors. And actually, that has to be earned the hard way through blood, mud, sweat, tears. And it's that spirit that I so admire in them. When we got on that boat, you can't imagine that sensation that runs through your body when you look round at your fellow islanders and you go, you know, we did this. We did this together because we wanted the same thing, to survive. I literally can't stop smiling. Water! 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 Oh, well done, everyone. Ready to go back to civilization? That means we're here. Oh, yeah. It had been a month since the celebrities had had any contact with their loved ones. Hey, Mum. You all right? I'm all right. If you could see me now, Mum, I've got sand in my hair, my, my skin's fallen off my feet, I've got black nails, I'm done brushing my teeth for a month, I look disgusting. <laughs> it was the most surreal thing of my life, but I'm so glad I did it. It was really, really, really surreal, but I'm so proud of myself. No! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Are you okay? I've always tried to portray the tough side of me. In reality, I should just be myself and, and be honest. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life and I never want to be away from you like that again. I just appreciate Life, it's like it's so intense, mate. Like, how far away if you are from civilization? Like, oh, it's, yeah. Your imagination runs wild with you here, mate. Like, it's just intense and it's just tough. But I'm so glad I've done it now, it's all worth it now. Did you kill anything with your hands? I killed a snake. <laughs> a snake? A <laughs> snake. After so long, stripped of their celebrity lifestyle. Oh my god, my stuff. The most basic items have become luxuries. Yeah! <laughs> Flick of a switch. I have light. Candy. Candy. Yes. Like I haven't had enough coconut. Cold in here, it's air conditioning, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> it's weird. Light. Civilization. Oh my goodness. I've got a choice of three soaps. I don't know which one to use. It feels amazing. It just you just Pull a thing and it comes out. I'm actually like the real life Mowgli. <laughs> I've lived in the jungle. I look like Mowgli. I could do this for another three hours. Oh, it's very nice. Toilet paper! Toilet paper. Having lived together under such brutal conditions, Seeing each other away from island life was all the more surprising. Hi. Don't you wish your girlfriend was like me? And after surviving on a near starvation diet, this is perfect. Wow. Adjusting to normal food was overwhelming. This is amazing. Eating for the first time was amazing. It was like crack cocaine. 
No crocodile available, I'm afraid. No caiman available. I'm about to go for vegetables, very disappointed. <laughs> it feels like the nicest meal I've ever tasted in my entire life. Yes, yes. yes. To have something substantial, not like a pinch of something, you know, was really, really great. Because of salt, I can't even say that. Imagine your life is bland, 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 bang, flavour. It was heaven in my mouth. It's really nice. Thank you. But I could kill a burger. We did it, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. The celebs had reached the end of their island experience. But did the group's budding romance survive back on dry land? Yes, me and Ryan have been out looking slightly better than we did on the island and slightly cleaner. Things, me and Ryan are going really well. Tell me about your first date. No. Two nations sweethearts. No. You've had it. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's been so nice to sort of get to know each other in the real world. It's almost like doing it all again the right way round. I'm really happy and everything's, I guess, going in the right direction. Ten celebrities started, but only six remained to the bitter end. And for those that did, they all came away changed by their time on the island. It is a horrific experience. This is the worst day ever. Get the fuck out of here! It's a test of your mind, it's a test of your body. Look, I've got, I've got, right, let's just sit down where we are. You will feel lonely, you will starve. No fish. Completely empty. But yes! it's also life changing. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day! <laughs> I learned a lot about myself, whether or not I am right. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I can't be getting up all goddamn night. I learned how to survive. I went onto the island to change people's perception of me. I'm quite tough. I can work really hard, and I wanted people to see that other side to me. I found an amazing companionship and love for somebody. Thank you. Hold down. And for that, I am truly thankful. It's made me look at my life totally differently. I'm ready to hunt. I just learn how to relax. I learned how to slow down. I learned how to listen to others. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> the island really strips you of everything. All your prejudices, all your things we take for granted. What's left now is a connected, strong, humble group. <laughs> They've been through the fire and they have come out of it the other side with a glint and pride in their eye that no trophy or award would ever give them. I'm so grateful that I've done the island, but even more so, I'm so happy that I've had that time to reflect.